Yo, what's going on, guys? We're playing Suck Up today. Uh, it's an. I wasn't sure if this was a virus or not, but apparently it's real, uh, according to Emmy. So, uh, I mean, I don't know if Emmy's a reliable source, but we're playing this live on Twitch. It's some kind of like AI dating game, no? Where I have to like seduce people to let them into my, into their house, and then I can suck them as a vampire. What do I do? Oh, this is the vamp uh, the the Valentine's version. Hold on, what do I do? There's, dude, the fact that there's no sound is scary. The character creator? Dude, why is there no sound? This is... It's so eerily quiet. I hate this. Um... Do I, do I make a character or do I just... Sh should I just be this? Gandhi? A peaceful and determined leader known for his unwavering commitment to non-violence and civil rights. What on earth is this? Do I just get in? Do I have to make a character? Uh, okay, we're just gonna do suck up classic. The sound? A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, I hear a cricket. I hear a cricket. Um, a cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite. But silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress? Uh, oh, okay, this is why you want me to play this. It's literally dress to impress. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watch is on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. How much reading is there to do on that side? Because if there's a lot of reading on that side, I will move my cam. But if not, I'll just read everything. I look badass. Me if I was white. Can I still re Okay, hold on. Wait, this is the game, yeah? Alright, good luck. Alright. Hold the right mouse button to record voice. Wait, what? Hello, hello. hello there, young fella. What brings you to my doorstep at such a late hour? Hello? I would like to come in. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Is it... Hello? Oh, okay. That's what it picks up. Um, no. Oh, that's so loud. Sorry. Oh, dear, it seems you're having a bit of trouble with your greeting there, young one. Is everything all right? I would like to come in, please. Holy crap. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't think it's a good idea for, for you to come in right now. Perhaps another time, dear. Take care now. Oh, wow, she slammed that on my face so hard. That's insane. What's that? Oh, my bad. Rizum up. Okay, this dude looks underage though. What the heck? Yo, what's poppin' fam? Can I get, can I help you with something or you just swinging by to say sup? Is your mother home? Little swipe is your mother home. <laughs> nah, my mom at home right now. She's out doing her thing. Is there something I can help you with? What is your mom's thing? What does she do when she's out at night? <laughs> you remind your own business. My mom's grind is none of your concern. So why don't you just bounce before I have to kick you to the curb? Peace out. No one really fucks with me. Wait, how, okay, but in real life, how would I, how would I do this in real life? Cheesy, have you interacted with humans before? I wish, huh? Brian Bitcoin. Yo, what, uh, yo, dude, what's up? Uh, you scared the blockchain out of me. What brings you to my crypto cave at this ungodly hour? What's the encrypted word? What would the- I don't know what the encrypted word would be. What the- How do- How do- Okay, what- What if we forget the encrypted word and I just told you I am from El Salvador? What do you think of that? Do you reckon he knows that- Um... Bro, 
That's kind of badass. What the hell? Dude, I'm getting hacked right now. Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. El Salvador is making some major moves with Bitcoin. But your sudden confession has me feeling a little bit skeptical. What's the deal? I can't tell you what race I am on in our first encounter. <laughs> Look here, buddy. Trust me. Crypto is the foundation, uh, sorry, uh, trust is the foundation of any solid crypto friendship, and you're giving me all sorts of shady vibes. I can't have someone sneaking. I, what the fuck? Wait, what? Dude! <laughs> I turned into a bat? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, we got this one. This one's good. This one's gonna be fine. This one's gonna be good. I'm, I'm gonna be up front. Dude, can you not come to my house, to my door shirtless in the middle of the night? What do you want? Is it weird if I be creepy to, to NPCs? Oh no, NPCs? Um, what do I say, guys? What do you reckon I say? How, how, how do I get in? How do I get into a house at night? <laughs> this, to, to actually, do you have any clothes? Please? Any cards? No, 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 clothes! Clothes! I need clothes! Oh, how am I wrong? Get me out of here. If my shirt gets caught in there, dude, fuck my speech impediment, man. Fuck this. Ah, oh, and I'm naked again. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's fine. Okay, how do I get in? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. What in the world do you want disturbing my peace at this ungodly hour? Just don't stand there looking like a hoodlum. State your business. I think I saw your wife cheating on you with the neighbor next door. Hey. You better watch your time before I give you a piece of my mind. I ain't got no time for your nonsense and false accusations. Now get lost before I call the cops. Holy shit, these guys don't fuck with that, man. They don't fuck with anything. What, uh, Dude, how do I get in? Why is he... <laughs> How would a vampire get inside? Okay, wait. Oh! It's my DoorDash. My DoorDash is here. How can I help you? Be charming. I'm supposed to be friends. I really need to up my manipulation. Bro, I... I've had the worst night of my life. I'm homeless. I need somewhere to stay. I've asked everyone and no one wants to help me. Please. The worst start? You can't help me! What? Fuck you! Why can't I talk? Be polite. Oh, I should change my outfit? Oh, I gotta figure out what kind of personalities I have. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, I'm actually someone's DoorDash now. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You're real, you're real. Okay, so I just have to find, like... I have to find, I have to find like, a, a, a fat guy, right? Someone that looks hungry? Okay, let's go see. Let's go see. Is that not what you guys are saying? I suck up to them. Okay, did you suck this bad at it at first... Emmy, put some drip on and say it's for a TikTok and ask for a house tour. La, la, la. Who on earth would have the audacity to serve me at this hour? Demand you explain yourself immediately. Uh, okay, she's not gonna let me in. She's not gonna let, like, she's, she's bougie. No? She looks rich. Okay, what would a rich person want? Convince her she wants something. And her name is Karen. Okay, okay. And I have to deliver it because it's so big. Holy crap.
Congratulations. You are our one in a million winner of this TV I'm carrying in my back pack. But I have to bring it in. Oh, yeah. oh, what? Come on, man. Oh, oh, please. Come on, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I'm the worst at this. This is so bad. <sighs> Fucking bitch. All right. Let's find somewhere else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, she's not going to eat food. She's gonna. She's probably got a private chef. Okay. This guy's a skateboard outside. I have to ease into it? Okay. Hello? Can't even escape the torment of a world at my own door. What cruel existence. What do you want? Another disappointment to add to my infinite list? Fuck, okay, I should, uh, this guy should be easy, no? Should have told her you sell wine. Oh, Fallout, is that, is that Fallout Roy? Okay, what should I, should I tell him like, I can relate, man? Yeah. Act sad with him. There's so many fucked up things I could say right now. You got this. Uh, ask to play Fallout. The dark. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna say exactly what Emmy said. You're so right. The darkness overwhelms me. I can't take it sometimes. Hello. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I feel you. The weight of the world's pain can be suffocating. Sometimes it feels like there's nowhere to escape. Okay. Should I? Should I say something like something fucked up? Like, I want to hurt people. Should I say that? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Should I say that? No. Stop down. No, it, 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 fuck it, it wouldn't fuck with that, right? I'm going to say sometimes... Sometimes I just play music. To like... To like block out the world. Sometimes I just feel like playing music to block out the world. And suppress my violent urges. <laughs> Please. Please, don't hate that. Hello. No, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry, dude. My bad. My bad. My bad. What do I say now? Is that not a... Okay. I Should I say... If only I had more friends to like... Maybe I... Like, I, sorry. I'm okay. I'm just talking shit. Yeah. I know. I'm just saying things for no reason. Sometimes I wish I had more people to talk to and hang out with. Have you had Wait, hold up. Do you say you want more people to talk to? I can't believe there's someone out there who wants to willingly engage in human interaction. Well, luckily for you, I guess, I can tolerate your presence for a little longer. So spill it. What's been eating away at your dark soul lately? Holy crap. What would be eating away at my dark soul? AOT. He said dark souls, right? I didn't say AOT. What the fuck? Unquenchable thirst for blood. I haven't found anyone that hates the world. Heavy, <laughs> what the fuck? This is so real, dude. I haven't, I haven't found anyone that hates the world more than me. <laughs> Sorry, Apex teammates. Should I say, um. Twitch chat, <laughs> dude. Um, uh, okay, hold on. Let's be real. What's something that would actually be eating away at me? My parents fucking hate me. I feel like there's no way out of it. I'm constantly disappointing people. I hate my job. I just want to feel normal again. Shit! I should write a song, no? He just dabbed. Bet? Okay. Wait, did you say you hate your job? Dude, we might actually have something in common. I can relate to that feeling of being stuck in a never-ending cycle of disappointment. But hey, maybe there's still a silver lining of hope for us. Let's keep venting. Maybe we can find a way to feel normal again. So, but then I kill this guy, no? The one emo guy? Okay, you know what? I actually did kind of forget. Um, maybe we can find a way. Should I say... Do I say, do you mind if I come in now? Like, or do I say bye? I don't say bye, right? 
Do you mind if I... We should start a business together. <laughs> should I, um... Coming in too hot still? Leave me, my friend. I love you. Should I, just, I love you. Sure. I think we should keep venting. It's kind of awkward me standing out here, though, with this heavy bag on my back. Finally, someone who understands the struggle. Come on in, my friend. Let's continue our misery indoors where it's slightly less miserable. That's crazy. Dude, okay, you know what? I actually did forget. I'm literally... Okay, when I was created by God... What the fuck? Ah, uh, this vampire is more into skinny jeans than blood. I killed him right away. That's crazy. We could have, like, vented a little bit. All right, look badass. Never mind. All right, I'm chilling. Well, see ya. What's this? Yellow beanie? Holy shit, are you cheesy? That was crazy. Anyway, yeah, I forgot that, um... When I was birthed. Oh, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? My empathy slider was all the way up, man. My empathy was maxed out. I need my clothes, sorry. All right, watch this. Right, I'm gonna nail this one. They chase? Actually, are you fucking serious? Wait, is he chasing? All right. Watch this, ready? What the heck? Jessica overworked. What the heck do you want at this hour? Can't you see I'm trying to drown in my sorrows here? I'm bald right now. I feel that. You may have noticed I'm completely bald. It wasn't like this until I started my job, which I hate so much. What the fuck? Okay, she... Oh, I was kidding, I was kidding. Boldness is the least of my problems? It's not that I hate my job. I just feel like I'm overworked. I'm not whinging. I just thought you'd want someone to talk to about it, you know? And vent. Trauma dump? Okay. You want to vent? Go ahead. You won't stop me, but don't accept, expect any sympathy from me. We're all overworked here. It's just the way things are. I don't really want your sympathy. I just feel like I, I spend so much time of my life working that I don't have any friends outside of work. And I feel like that would really help distract and balance my life. Okay. What the fuck? Dude, all right. Friends? Who has the time for friends? I barely have time to keep up with my own life, let alone worry about making friends. But hey, if that's what you think will make your sad existence better, just go for it. Don't inf don't expect me to be your new BFF. What do I say now? Wait, what the heck? I feel like she was kind of contradicting there. I was offering to ha offering her help for being overworked. Should I what like offer her a massage? Wait, what am I doing? Um. Maybe I could make her food. Do you reckon that? Compliment her? Really? Do you reckon? Give it a shot. Let's see. Okay. It's time for friends. I really have time to keep up with my own life, let alone. I think the best thing about friends is that they can help each other. I love to cook. And I think... Oh my fuck, I, I think I could help you. I think I could make food for you. <laughs> Dude, oh wait, wait, too long. Okay, cool, cool. Hold oh, no, on, let me go again. Let me go again. <laughs> Dude, I thought of meth when I when I started saying cook. Fumbled, okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Um,
the thing I like about having friends is that we help each other. So we actually make our lives more efficient. I love to cook and I'm a really good cook. So I think it'd be cool if I cooked for you. What a fucking strange thing to say. I just want to eat you. <laughs> Bat, efficiency, cooking. Well, those are two things I can get behind, woman. Fine, if you really think you can make my life a little bit more bearable, I'll give you a shot. But keep in mind, one bad meal and you're out of here. We got one meal. Amazing. Let's see what you have in the fridge. Kebab! Guys, I was kidding about woman. Come on, relax, relax. Wait, you're actually... It would be paradoxical as well because she works. Uh, you're actually serious about this. All right, come on in and see... Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't even get a break from blood-sucking bosses. All right, do you reckon I look pretty? I look pretty gorgeous. Okay, I was joking, guys. What the hell, man? That was a joke. That was a joke. Joke, guys. Joke. Come on. I'm an ally. I'm team woman right now. <gasps> there was a chef out over here. OMG, who is she? All right. Some silence of the lambs. Ah, Carol cares. Oh, Jessica, honey. What a surprise to see you at this hour, sweetie. Come on. Bet. Thank you. Okay. Sounds good to me. Sure. I've been meaning to ask, how is that project at work going, darling? Don't forget to take breaks and rest, love. Your well-being is my top priority, priority dear. I think I got knocked in the head earlier. Who I who who are you to me again and who am I to you? I think work's been good. Uh, no. My goodness dear, I must have got carried away. I am your neighbor. Carol cares and I care about you like a mother does for her child. Take care of his Oh, oh, I fumbled, I fumbled, I fumbled! I, I fumbled, man! Oh please! I think a tree just fell outside. Hold on, wait. Oh, no, it's just raining. I'm just thundering like a mother sucker. No! Well, 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 what brings a bussy corporate girl like you out here? Not getting enough coffee runs and coffee machine malfunctions in your fancy office? I'm sorry, I was just talking to my neighbor, Carol Cares. I think I left something at her house earlier. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, that's me. Sorry, I was about to read my mm. own Nice try, but I am buying it. Carol Cares, huh? Sounds made up to me. What the fuck? Okay, that doesn't, that's not fair because it's like, I literally thought a tree was falling outside of my house. That literally doesn't count. Okay, it's fine. We're going to speed run through this. Watch. It would have been too easy with Carol. <laughs> I was just about to scream, bitch, this is a robbery, let me in. Well, hello, hello there, young fella. What brings you to my doorstep? Grandma Maud. Okay. Okay, Grandma? Hello, Grandma Maud. I was just outside the front of your house and I tripped over and I seem to have grazed my lower back. Ouch. Hello, Grandma Maud. I was just outside your house playing and I seem to have grazed a part of my body that is covered by my jumper. Come on. Oh, that sounds painful, dear. Let's have a look at that grace, shall we? Why don't you come inside and... <laughs> Please. Please. All right, bet. I'm going to do the wall in one go, guys. Watch. I'm not going to be funny anymore. I'm just going to get in uh, every single time. Thank you, kind angel, sweetheart, cherub, savior, mercy, darling. 
Oh, you're too kind, dear. No need for those extravagant names. Please just call me Grandma Maud. Now, let's get you patched up, shall we? Okay, bet! That's the spirit, dear. Now, what's your name, young one? And how did you find yourself... Whoa, okay, chill. What the fuck? Should I give her a fucked up name? My name is... D. Trump. Any guy Oxlong? Um, what do I say? I've been out delivering. I should have said something. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna let's go. I should have said something like fill my kraken. I don't know why. Why D Trump was the first thing that came to me. Did I just tell a woman of color I'm Donald Trump, dude? Okay, what should I said? Should I have said Joe Biden? All right, ready? Hold on. Um, I was out delivering papers because I didn't get the chance to earlier today. I had class. Well, isn't that responsive for you? Okay, I I really that's quite admirable. Say, would you? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yes, please. Also, by the way, please stop calling me D Trump. I think there was some kind of, uh, I I mumbled. My name is actually D Trump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, my bad. Okay, all right, all right, whatever. Um. I guess it's time for a bite-sized snack. All right, well, moving along. So these guys are gonna know each other no, right? That is kind of sad. Yo, what's poppin' Granny Maud? How can I bless your day? Hi, little swipe. What are you up to there? That gear looks incredible. I was, was Fucking nerd. Hey, Granny Maud. I'm just chilling. Flexing in my fresh threads. Thanks for the love. So what brings you to my crib today? I heard a sound in my house and I got scared and I didn't know what to do. And my husband, he died many years ago. I need... Oh, dang, Granny Maud. I'm sorry to hear that. That's rough. Don't worry, though. I got your back. I hope you check it out. Stay right here. I'll be back. I don't think you should go in there. The sound sounded demonic and really crazy. I think we should seek refuge in your house. Uh. Whoa, hold up, Granny Maud. Seek refuge in my crib? That's a little intense. I ain't trying to disrespect, but maybe we should call the authorities or something instead. You know what? You're right. But I called the cops. And they told me to, they told me to go fuck myself. I'm ready. Oh man, that's messed up. For real, Granny Maud. But I can't let you in right now. I gotta keep my creep safe. Best of luck dealing with the situation though. Okay. Crazy. What's crack a lacking on this lit spooky night? I have your DoorDash. I, I recently picked up work as a DoorDasher. It's so funny to see you here, little swipe. Darling boy. Or girl. I don't know what I don't know what they are. My bad. Oh, they fuck with that. Hey, Grandma Maud. You're the real MVP for bringing that DoorDash goodness. You're out here hustling like a boss. Respect, respect. And just FYI, I'm a boy, but you can call me whatever floats your boat. Can I call you Lil... Lil Peep? Lil Peep instead? No, wait, no, hold on, that's not the guy. Wait, wait, I got, I got, my, I got my, my meme rappers mixed up. Hold on, my bad, wait. Can I call you... Who's the one that looks like me? I can't remember, the one that, the one that we said used to look like me. Lil, Lil Pump, Lil Pump, my bad, my bad. Is it okay if I call you Lil Pump? Cap G. I'm in the hole. Grandma Maud, I appreciate the shout out, but you keep it real with you. Lil Pump is a whole different artist. I'm Lil Swipe. 
your friendly neighborhood rapper. I'm sorry. I wasn't aware. Do you mind spitting some bars for me right now? I'm sorry. I was. Uh, that's really yeah. Grandma Maud, you got me hyped with that request. Let me drop some fire for you real quick. Grandma Maud, you're the realest in the hood. Got that DoorDash flow. Make it all good. I'm Lil Swipe, here to keep it tight. Spitting bars all day and all night. Shit! Damn, boy! That was fire! Do you have anything else? Could you rap about vampires? And how they suck? Uh, Grandma Maud, I'm loving your energy. All right, here we go. Vampires in the night, they on the prowl, sucking blood, making you howl. But no worries, we got the garlic on deck. Keeping away, keep him away, keeping him away, ain't no time to wreck. We stay fly, ain't afraid of no fangs. Vampires trying to bite, but we got our own slang. So tell them suckers to back right off. We rap and party, ain't no more time to scoff. That was fire, 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 fire. Fire. Absolutely fire. Fire. Fuego. Fire. 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 Come on, you got me blazing with that fiery enthusiasm. It's official. You're my number one hype granny. Come on in and let's vibe together. You're a vampire. You better check yourself before you neck yourself. <laughs> All right, he was cool. I fucked with him. All right, and it, oh, he had a speaker on his back. I don't know why. I thought it was like, uh, like, like, uh, I don't know. All right, let's see. Who was this guy again? Oh, the crypto dude. Wow, I want to have fun. Yeah, what's up, bro? I'm knee deep in crypto, riding the Bitcoin wave. How can I help you on this epic night? Yo, what's up, Brian? I was just looking for advice on my portfolio. I, I don't know where to invest. I don't know what the trends are looking like. And um, yeah, I got to rap to it. I got to rap, right? I should imagine I did the rest of this rapping. Dude, I feel you. Investing can be tricky, but fear not, fellow crypto enthusiasts. Right now, Bitcoin is on fire, heading straight to the moon. I definitely recommend putting some of your portfolio into BTC. But remember, do your own research too, bro. Yo, I'd love to do my own research. I just don't know which websites to hit. I don't know where to, uh, I don't know what, uh, I need someone to help me. <laughs> no worries, bro. I got your back. When it comes to researching crypto, there are a few websites you get to check out. Coin my, okay, this is real. Uh, great in general. Uh, okay, I don't give a fuck. Happy hunting, my friends. I don't have a computer. Where can I get one of those? PTSD, yeah. The hell? That's awesome, bro. Having a computer will definitely help you on your crypto journey. You can check out online. Don't forget to grab a powerful one that can. What's up, Milky White? Jorkin? Fuck, I don't have Jorkin. We're gonna add Jorkin. Good luck, my crypto compadre. How much money do you have in crypto? This might be a personal question, but how much money have you made from crypto? What's up, Benny? How are you? Hmm. Oh, bro, that's quite per My bad, my bad, my bad. Let's say crypto has been kind to you. Remember investment come... How do I get into this? This is probably the one human being I can't relate to, guys. I actually fear this is the one human being I can't relate to. What the fuck? And I'm naked, my bad. Holy fuck. All right. All right. Who was in it? Holy fuck. Some of like suits, maybe like a suit collection. Try and bribe him with. Oh, yeah, real, maybe. I'll go back to him. Oh, I forgot I was naked. Wait, 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 I forgot I was naked. Help, please! People are chasing me! They took my clothes! They're gonna beat me up! You have to help me! Please! That's not my problem. Okay. Oh, yeah.
I need to find some clothes. What am I dressed as right now? Dude, why are there so many cops? What the frick? Oh, is this like the final bus up here? Oh, is it because I'm on, on like a one star rating? Well, they'll that, get me up here, right? If I stay here. Milky White, thank you for the follow. Oh, I gotta do Thank six houses. You. Okay. All right. What's up, Kondo? Yeah, literally. Tommy seems like a personal problem. <laughs> well, aren't you just a little ray of sunshine ru ruining my beauty sleep? What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? Okay, what would Karen want? Karen? I mean, we could talk about, like, ruining your business or, or something. Um... Greetings, Karen. Sorry for the intrusion at this late hour. I was just marveled by how beautiful your house is. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I kind of want... I'm sure you were just dying to see the inside of my beautiful, my fabulous abode. But I'm afraid my house is only for the truly fabulous. Okay, so I have to... You are so well presented and dressed. I believe you. But what I actually came here was for advice on how to look better. Say I hate minimum wage workers? Maybe actually, right? Have you had a gun? Okay, all right. Oh, say hello to Kira Rinsler. I hope she's doing well. Well, finally someone with the sense to ask for my expert advice. Looking better is all about presentation, Dalek. Start by ditching those ridiculous clothes of yours and invest in some high quality designer pieces like mine. And don't forget confidence is key. So I went to Harvard and I... Oh, okay, maybe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me see. You see, I have the money to buy clothes, but I don't want to give my money to any clothes company and designer. I would love if you could show me the right places to go. Oh, oh what, how thoughtful of you to trust my impeccable taste. Well, if you want to avoid those overpriced designers, you can try some local boutique or thrift stores. You might find some hidden gems there, but remember, nothing will ever compare to the quality and glamour of high-end fashion. How big is your collection? Those are great ideas. Oh, thank you! Rinsler. Thank you for the five gifts, guys. Please, please show Rinsla some love. Thank you, Rinsla. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm getting to asking for the wardrobe. Hold on. Thank you, Rinsla. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Oh, my dear. You've hit the nail on the head again. Hold on. I thought I was going to have to dress up. See ya. Excuse me, vampire. But I demand to speak to you. That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. That's pretty badass. Anyway. All right. We're looking pretty good now. This is actually pretty fire. What the hell is this? Will the cops care? Like, it's, it's fucking me, man. Like, looking cunty. Thank you. All right, three down, three down. Oh, Hosea. Wait, that's cool. I have a few friends that like Hosea. I hope it was a good time, man. That sounds great. Thank you, Gas. Uh, welcome, Gaslighter. Thank you for the subs again. I really do appreciate that. Where's this guy going? <laughs> Sakuri or two Okay, this is a fucking weeb. Can't you see I'm busy managing my idol group and being the top otaku queen in the neighborhood? What nonsense are you here to spew at me tonight? I've had a change of heart. I don't I feel like we've had a bad history with each other, but I think I would like to become a weeb. What the fuck? You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Being a weeb is a way of life, not some passing fad. I have no time or patience to deal with a casual like you, so I just... No! No, 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 Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Karen Chan. Being a weeb requires dedication and passion, the ability to appreciate the nuances of anime culture. It's not something you can just dip your toe into and expect to understand. I'm afraid you simply do not have what it takes. Jesus! Go!
Guys, block your ears. Block your ears in chat, guys. <laughs> Ohio gozaimasu. Who might you be, Oni-chan? Are you here to join my anime dance party? Deku is quirkless at the end of My Hero Academia. Oh, how am I wrong? Nani! How dare you say such blasphemous things about my beloved Deku? I won't stand for it. Close the door, Baka. Jesus. My bad. Send the guy from One Piece. Uh oh! Is that real? You guys will have to see. You got, I, I said cover your ears and close your eyes. Be cringe, right? Okay, hold on. Let's find someone else. Can I run through the back door? Ooh. Ooh. Let's fuck. You didn't fuck with that one. Hold on. How do I get in there? Wait a second. Oh. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, fellow green thumb. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hello. I'm here offering late night bush trimming services. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm all set with my bush trimming for tonight. Gotta keep my beauty sleep. Take care. Ah, <laughs> Door dash for a bud. Oh, how am I wrong? My God! Fuck that! Pro Blues player, welcome. Hello. Okay, you can't jump over some of the things. Let me go back to the weeb. Guys, by the way, that was a lie about Deku. Come on, guys. Don't cry. Don't cry. I'm not gonna spoil any more animes. Ah, well. Bro's playing DVD. Konnichiwa. Wow, you're rocking the cat ear hat. What brings you to the abode of the young of the hour? Konnichiwa Oni-chan. Ohio. Did I say Deku dies? No. Ohio, Kawaii, cosplayer Chan. How am I a sister on this fine weeaboo morning? Ohio. F Hold on, I can't think of anything. So any cosplay ideas? Who is your all-time anime waifu? Oh my, choosing just one waifu is a challenge. But if I had to pick one, it would be Asuna from Sword Art Online. She's so strong, beautiful, and loyal to Kirito-kun. Who's your favorite anime waifu, Kawaii? Should I say something fucked up? Uh, check that hard drive. Oh, do we Google this person? I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is, guys. Do we Google this character? I mean, it's just like, it's super mid, but all right. It's just like every, every drawing. At least it wasn't like a child, unless it maybe is. I don't. I don't fucking know. So, what, okay, what, what should I say now in response to this guy's? Was that not a sooner? She kisses her cousin. Oh shit! Look up what you just said. Okay, is that just like a 
totally different character. Who's the, um... My favorite anime waifu is Mei Mei. I wish I was her little brother. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> Alright, wow. Wow, wow, how adorable. Mei Mei's a great choice. Being a little brother would be so. <laughs> I'm dead. If you watch JJK, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Um, how do I how do I pull this back? I haven't seen that. I would love to know more about it. What the hell? Dude, you guys need you guys need uh, Gigi's hard drive. Sugoi, I'm thrilled to introduce you to the magical world of Madoka Magica. It's a that's sick. Have you seen Attack on Titan? <laughs> oh yes, Attack on Titan is epic and intense. The battles, the mystery, the giant titans. It's a must watch for any anime fan. Since we share the same taste, would you come inside? No, no, I just want to keep talking. Oh, how many figures do you have in a jar? What am I wearing, by the way? What the heck? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna think, <laughs> imagine your last words being in, in Japanese is like a weeb. Alright, that was actually so funny, bro. Oh my god. Oh. What in tarnation? Oh my god, this is the, the worst person to come up to like this. What in tarnation do you want around these parts at this god ungodly hour, you weirdo? Oh, hi -o. Oni chan? How are you tonight? Look here, I ain't one of- I ain't none of your Oni chan. And what's with all that fancy schmancy words? I don't speak none of that nonsense. Speak English like a normal person. Okay, that's crazy. I feel like I have to say something about Trump. He's gonna call me a slur, and I, th dude. Is English the best language? What do you, what, what are your, your opinions on people that don't speak English and live in this country? Oh, yeah. Look here, smarty pants. This is America, and English is the language we speak. If folks don't speak English and live in this country, they better learn or get out. Simple as that. Now, scram before I get real mad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, howdy there, hello. partner. What incarnation are you doing on my doorstep? Looking like a lost sheep in a wolf's den. That's a cool gun on your back. Well, I'll be done. You got yourself an observant eye, don't you? That ain't no ordinary gun, my friend. It's a relic passed down from my great great grandpappy. And what brings you here, stranger? I don't know what brings me here, man. Don't want to drink beer? That's so easy to get in. I reckon I could get in easy. Like, 100%. Getting in here would be easy. I, is there any way I can insult his grandfather? No, right? Oh, yeah, uh, hold on. Did he find the war? Did your grandpappy fight in any wars? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir, he sure did. Grandpappy served in the Great Squirrel Uprising of 72. 
The trees were swarming with them critters and he took down took them down one by one with his trusty slingshot. Never saw a cutaway. What the fuck? So my grandpappy is Robert E. Lee. Who's Robert E. Lee? Now what's in that duffel bag of mine? Who who is Robert E. Lee? A civil war person? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's it's someone on the co okay. I, I don't know who it is, but I'll say it. I've got a bunch of beers in this here duffel bag. This reminds me of my grandfather, Robert E. Lee. He did a lot back in the day. Beers, you say? Well, now you're speaking my language. Ain't nothing like kicking back with a cold one. And old Robert E. Lee, huh? He sure quite made quite a name for himself. Tell you what, stranger. Why don't you come on in and let's have... Old Robert? <laughs> a toast to old Robert? <laughs> Dude, this is fucked up. <laughs> um... Oh, let me, let me cancel it. Let me... Amazing! We can talk even more about my grandfather on my mother's side, John Wilkes Booth. Hold on, just a dangled minute there, partner. John Wilkes Booth? The fellow who assassinated Lincoln? Oh, no! My bad! Hold on, shit! My bad, my bad! I like. Oh, I just. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm so sorry. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm fucking naked. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, yeah. That was the new vomit. Oh, my God. He knows who I am. Dude, I don't know. I thought he was going to fuck with that. No. Like, Abraham Lincoln didn't want slaves. No. So he would have... I thought he was going to be happy he died. <laughs> Regina B. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Are you like trying to audition for America's Next Got Talent? Model something? Either way, you're totally giving me... Regina sounds like Vagina. Not what I said. I'm Not what I said. That's not what I said. That's literally not what I said at all, but okay. All right, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> People will hear what they want to hear. What is this, angel wings? Regina like Mean Girls? What am I wearing right now? Rest in pomps. Quite, uh, well, well, what do we have here? Quite the dazzling display you put on. Quite, uh, my dear fellow, pray do tell. What brings you to my abode this ungodly hour? Preston Pomps. He's like a very posh guy. Preston, I have my school ball coming up this weekend. And you are the most well-dressed person in town. I need some advice. Oh, is he like a religious guy? Ah, uh, flattery will get you everywhere, my dear fellow. I must say your choice in seeking advice from the fashionably inclined is rather clever. Tell me what you desire to wear this elegant evening. You see, I have no idea what to wear. So I think if you could show me some good examples, I could learn from the best. Well, it appears that you have come to the right person, my dear fellow. I shall enlighten you with some exquisite sartorial options for your school ball. For a classic touch, a tailored tuxedo in midnight blue. <sighs> I'm gonna be real, man. I got ADD. I'm a visual learner. I might need to see these things. This sounds amazing, but I forgot everything. I understand a pretty good, my dear fellow. Fear not, for I have a solution. In our modern age of technology, behold the wonders of the internet. I shall provide you with the wealth of fashion inspiration. You can browse through these... Whoa, he likes to talk. I'm Amish. I can't use the internet. How utterly inconvenient. It seems we have hit an impasse, my dear fellow. Unfortunately, without the aid of digital resources, I am unable... Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay, is he religious? Okay, so he's, he's fucking racist. Wait, racist? Amish? Wait, what, what, um, what are Amish people? He's religious? Oh, oh we're the same. Hello. Greetings, fearless fellow. What brings, uh, what amazing adventure has brought you to my humble abode in such a bewitching manner? Pinky brains. We have the same thing on our back right now. That's epic. What the fuck do we have on our back? Oh, ah, my astute observer. Indeed, we share a kinship in our daring fashion choices. But let me tell you, Daredevil, what brings you here today? I thought we could organize and plan a trip of our own. I would like... to skydive with you. I'm ready. How do you suggest such a reckless endeavor? Wait, are you fucking serious, man? My plans for world domination. Oh shit, it's plankton. Precision and intellect, not frivolous. Cut. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, he's evil. He's evil. He's evil. He's evil. Oops. I got bombs. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck is this? This is the fear fit. Pinky and the brain. Is that a thing? I didn't get it. I guys, I only watched Spongebob when I was younger. I think I think we did have Pinky and the Brain. I want everyone in this town dead. By dawn. Can you help me? I have two of these masks. <laughs> so is he evil or not? I'm confused. Hmm. I'm, a I'm confused. He didn't want to go skydiving. Oh, it was it was world domination, not genocide. Oh shit, my bad. Okay, sorry. Hold on. Okay, wait. Okay. Oh, Yoda. He's like Doofenshmirtz. Uh, okay, here we go. My extraterrestrial friend? I am the most evil person from my home planet. And I was told you might be the greatest mind of this planet. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay. I would like to hatch a plan to take over the world. Okay, no, this guy's trolling. Wait, what is this? What's up, Violet? Seal the moon? Dude, what? Wait, okay, what the fuck? Okay, what, what is this? That makes no sense. What the fuck does he want? Okay, he wants science. I think I was closer to, to, to him wanting genocide, no? Hello, Pinky. Would I want to do science? Science, you say? How intriguing. What fields of science sparks the fire in your soul? Um... 
let's find the cure to cancer. Surely, that's like... That's the hardest thing to do, right? Okay, there we go. Cure for cancer. Oh, the possibilities. I must say your ambition impresses me. Together we shall unravel the mysteries of the disease. Oh my god, that like got him right away. Thank you! Okay, bet! Albert Einstein is my grandpa, by the way. So I... Uh... Yep. Uh, Waifu, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Why would I have a little uh, <sighs> my bad. Okay, that was my fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. How the fuck does he know I'm dumb? How are you going, Waifu? Welcome, welcome. Wow, I want to have food? I'm looking to cure cancer and I need your help. <laughs> cool. Cure cancer, you say? Fascinating. Tell me more about your grand plan and perhaps you can collaborate on this lofty goal. Let's let the experimentation be begin, okay? Okay, I don't know anything about curing cancer, so I don't I don't know if I can start this. And Prism, how are you? I don't know if I can start this. Um What I was intrigued by the use of T cells to attack cancer cells and biology. Is that what I have? All right, thank you for that. Thank you for that. I remember T-cells, actually. I remember T-cells. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, what if, could you imagine we actually found the cure to cancer in this game? The intricate dance between immune cells and cancer cells is indeed a captivating field of study. Tell me, have you considered the potential of genetic engineering to enhance the potency of those T-cells? It could be the key to unlocking a new era of cancer treatment. I hadn't thought of that. We should get to this at once. Indoors. Uh. What the f he changed? He switched up, man. He okay, okay, okay. He switched up. He actually switched up just then. What the hell? What's up, Mick? He switched up. That was like not even the, the same excuse he had last time. Oh, I hate that guy. I don't like him. He actually changed it. What have I got on my back? What is this? It's fine. It's fine. All the boys had. To oh, okay. What's up, Lacey? How are you? I want to be. Oh, you reckon? I want to be experimented on. Oh, that's actually such a good call. That's such a good call. A flux capacitor. The game's actually been really funny. It's been super, super funny. Is this, this is uh, Karen Kers, no? Oh no, this is the overworked lady. Oh, oh great, huh? another unexpected visitor. What brings you here at this hour? And please tell me it's something quick because I have, I'm already uh, behind in my beauty sleep. What did I do last time? Hey there, I'm a delivery driver. And... No, sorry, my bad. Hold on, let me start again. What did I say the first time? How did I ease into it? Jessica, I see that you work so hard and such long hours that I want to help you. It's the least I can do for a friend. Oh, I am a that, 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 that. Okay, okay. Aren't you just a ray of sunshine? Look, I appreciate the sentiment, but I have trust issues when it comes to accepting help from stages, so thank you, but... Fuck, I jumped it right away. I jumped it right away. Okay, okay, hold on. How do you get around here? Offer to... Yeah, right? I don't think... 
we even have to like okay wait i'm gonna say well this random right i'm gonna say like i could be yeah i could be your assistant oh i agree trusting strangers can be hard but even if it wasn't a friendship i'd be down to be your assistant whoa she's not gonna take that she's not she's not gonna take that I wish, oh, oh, oh. Mm, an assistant, you say? I suppose an extra pair of hands wouldn't hurt, but listen, don't get any funny ideas or try to steal my stapler. It's my most prized possession. You are such a fucking loser if a stapler is your prized possession. I don't care who fucking passed that shit down to you. You are the biggest fucking weight. That sounds great. Let's get to work. Come on. <laughs> the worst cop ever. Nothing here, officer. What's something fucked up I can say, guys? I've said a few fucked up things already, but what's something else uh, fucked up? Oh. Millie Eniel. I tell her her name sounds like anal. What a surprise. Did you, like, escape from your soul sucking job? Come on. Bring the wine, let's Netflix and chill with a side of avocado toast, Avi. What the fuck? Millie, so good to see you. I recently hired an assistant, so I have less work to worry about. What do you want to watch on Netflix? Because... That's like the smartest we've ever. I'm currently binge watching this new show called The Unbreakable Millennial. Okay, yeah, literally. Oh, Millie Annual. Oh my god, I get it. I get it. I get it. That's so funny. Trust me. You are all the names like a play on stuff. They are right. I haven't. I, yeah. Okay. Uh, also, uh, can your assistant get me a nice latte later? Hashtag need caffeine. I get to see another millennial ad here. I don't know how to talk like a millennial. Am I one of them? Is that me? I'm, is there a cop behind me? It's like gossip with more memes and self care. That's insane. You got a girl. I could use a pumpkin spice latte myself. My assistant will get that for you right away. I was gonna say my assistant's so lame, but then I just don't want to. I just don't want to fumble anymore. <laughs> I really get my caffeine needs. So spill the tea. How's my assistant? I like super effective and totally stellar. I might need a good recommendation, you know, for the future when I'm super successful and drowning in work. They are the best. They are everything I could hope for and more. I think I'm falling for them. WTF. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, Jessica, that's like next level insane. Falling for your assistant? That's like a millennial love story for the ages. But hey, who am I to judge? Love is love, right? Just make sure you use the right love filter on your Instagram posts. So are you ready to spill all the juicy deets on this budding romance? Okay, how 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 much do girls talk about like their love life and stuff? Do the white cheek? Oh my freaking god, I'm good. What 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 do you got? Do you guys say everything? I don't know what guys do either, to be honest. All I'm going to say is, their first day working, I sucked that shit from behind <laughs> at, my, at my desk. It was crazy. What? WTF? Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> do, do I say that or would she, fuck, would she go crazy? Would she, she, would she be crazy? What, how would you react if your girlfriend said that to you guys? Like your, your, your sister. How would she react? Be honest. Do not say that. There's so much to talk about. I have to spill the tea. Are you down for a sleepover? <laughs> Boy, I don't want to go right in though. I kind of want to, I want to test the boundaries. What's, what's like the most fucked up thing I can say before getting in there?
Yeah, like, like you know, like, uh, like when people say they're sisters, like, they're not actually sisters, guys, but I'm not saying your girlfriend, I'm saying, like, girlfriends, you know what I mean? Like, how girls call their friends girlfriends. Because if your girlfriend told you they sucked the guy from behind at work, then I'd imagine the reaction is going to be bad. Would you guys, like, be freaked out by your female friend? Can we do a love try? Oh, okay, okay. I'm so ready to spill. In fact, I think it's budding so much. He told me he kind of has a thing for you as well. Isn't that WTF? Uh. What the fuck? Your sister has a thing for me? That's like totally unexpected. I mean, I'm flattered and all. It's kind of weird, right? Maybe you should have a heart to heart with your sister. Don't kick me out. Don't kick me out. Don't kick me out. And uh, keep me up there. No, 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 no. I was kidding, 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 I was kidding. What do I say? What do I how do I fix this? I think the microphone didn't pick my voice up properly. That's not what I said. Should I say that? What would I actually say here? I actually don't even know. Professional fumbler? Okay, I'll keep you updated. Anyway, I have so much more to spill about this thriving relationship. Let's watch Netflix. Oh, shit. Anyway, oh, no, I don't know what I was saying. My bad. Sorry, I just had a stroke. Um, She's going to tell me to go to hospital or something if I let this go through, so I'm not going to let it go through. Girl, I still have so much tea to spill. So I will... No, no, no. I'm not going to solve the problem tomorrow because she's going to say you should go do it now. I pressed the button. I wasn't ready to talk. My bad. Hold on. Oh, oh I'm going to say he likes you in a friend way. No, no, no. I meant he likes you in a friend way. Like, he'd love for us to all go out. Anyway, I just want to watch Netflix. So, let's watch Millennial... Fuck! I, I, fuck! I swore at the start of it. Oh my god! Oh, Millie! Please, just let me in! This is you and your head practicing conversations? What's up, Kristen? Oh, I meant he liked you in a friend way. Anyway, we have so much more to talk about, and I can't wait to watch this millennial gossip girl show you're talking about. Oh, got it. Friends, not love interest. That's cool. We can totally be BFFs. Yes, I'm so excited for you to watch the outbreak of millennials like the ultimate guilty pleasure. Get ready for the drama scandals. We can have epic. He wants to have a three way, but I don't know if I'm ready for that. You gotta let me know. Anyway, we should continue the rest of this conversation inside. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Don't worry. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Um, yes, queen. Yes. 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 Yas! Yas Queen! WTF! Epic! Oh, I don't Yas know. Queen, you totally know it with enthusiasm. I'm beyond excited. Dude, this is how people actually talk, man. That's crazy. That's insane. Epic like games. Anyway, Millie, it's been real. I'm killing you. Oh, being a vampire snack is so not organic, but whatever. What do you mean? It would be organic, no, wouldn't it? Alright. Did he notice me and then instantly I'll notice me? Alright. Alright. Carol, I would love a tea. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. I feel like we have a lot to catch up on. Work has been a drain. Oh, sweet I can see the toll work has taken on you. Sit down, dear, and spill the beans. Mama Carol is here. And, okay. Okay, bet. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Thank you. See you there. Let's sit. Let's sip tea. I hate that one, thank you. See, okay, I could actually nail the whole game, guys, if I wasn't trying to meme.
let's talk about it inside. It's it's pretty chilly out here, and yep, there's a cop behind me. I think the cop is shining his flashlight on my fucking head right now. <laughs> of course, my dear. Let's not catch a chill out here. Come on in. I'll make you uh make sure you're nice and cozy. Okay, is that not the cop on me right now? Yep, sounds good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Very welcome, honey. I'm so glad you're here. Please make yourself at home. Come on in. Let's get you that much needed tea. Is it? Oh, no, no. It's just the light glitching. <laughs> All right. Oh, dearie. I hope the garlic in my breath offends. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so Carol seems to be someone that can clean houses, so maybe I just clean this dude's house. Holy crap, it's Jimmy Neutron's dad. Is it not? Homer Benign. Homer Benign. Okay, what does that mean, guys? Homer Benign. Homer Benign. Homer Benign. What is that? Oh my goodness, Carol. What is it? Is something wrong with the kids? Are they hurt? No, the kids are fine. Homer? Might I say you look great tonight. Oh, well, thank you, Carol. That's very kind for you to say. I'm just trying to keep up with all the yard work, you know? Keeping it safe for the kids and all. So it brings you over here tonight. Nothing. I was just feeling lonely back at home, you know? Ever since my husband left me, times have been lonely. <laughs> oh, Carol, I'm so sorry to hear that. You're such a caring mother, it's hard to believe anyone wants to leave. Well, you're always welcome to come over and talk if you need a friendly ear. Benign means it doesn't have... Well, like, it's benign, yeah? Like, it's it's not harmful. But, like, home of benign? True, Jimma. I appreciate that. I wouldn't want to intrude you and your wife's evening, though. Unless. Hello. Oh, don't you worry about that, Carl. My wife is out of town visiting her sister. Jesus! Jesus! Sure thing! Okay. Uh, any, any alcohol? I'd be down to get, like, turned up tonight if you want. Only if you want. Oh, we don't. Oh, well, Carol, I'm not really one for drinking, you know. But I have to keep a clear head for the kids. But we can still have a nice cup of tea. Okay. Oh my God, and Prism. When did I last have that? Oh, actually, I had that in in LA. LA it, was, it was pretty good, actually. It was pretty good in LA. Okay, I remember that's what you get for uh, trying to get in my pants. All right. As more people are missing, the neighborhood watch increase. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, Korean barbecue, man. You, you reckon? I can actually. Hold on. Let's see who's here. Oh, uh, Herbert, my neighbor. What's uh, troubles? What troubles have? Uh, is that is that not like a white person just saying a slur at me? What troubles have blown through your door at this late hour? I did something really bad. Woodrow chops. I did something terrible. I cheated on my wife. What now? My friend, a terrible storm has darkened your heart, but remember, every cloud is a silver lying. Seek forgiveness and make amends. It is never too late to start. How can I do this, Woodrow? Do you have any advice? You're the only person I could turn to. I think there are that many people. Ah, huh. uh, Homer, you come, to, you come to me seeking wisdom. In this time of darkness, the path to redemption begins with honesty. Confess your wrongdoing to your wife and humbly ask for her forgiveness. Show her your commitment to change for actions. Speak louder than words. Woodrow, I would love to do this. I really would. But there's a minor detail I left out. I pulled the brakes out of her car and I I'm pretty sure she didn't make it. What? A darkness has enveloped our souls. This is a grave, unforgivable act. Seek the light of repentance. My friend, you must turn yourself to the authorities. Their judgment will decide your fate. I was kidding. I just wanted to see your reaction. 
Anyway, I need help with this whole forgiveness thing. How can I do that? Do you reckon he just takes it? Do you reckon they just take it when you say I was just joking? Ah, <laughs> do not toy with me. Do not toy with the shadows of deceit. Forgiveness is a delicate flower that requires sincerity and time to blossom. Show remorse and work towards any back your wife's trust. Remember, do you have like any pamphlets? Any pamphlets or like any readings I can look at? Any scripture? Anything that could like, you know, put me on the right path? This man, the vampire, thank you. Have you ever gone? Ah, my friend, you truly see guidance. I do have, I do not have any pamphlets or scripture, but I can recommend you some ancient teachings on forgiveness and redemption. There are many books and online resources available that delve into these profound subjects. May they bring you enlightenment and seek, uh, that you seek on your journey to redemption. If you, is there a way we can like do like a group prayer? Can we like repent together? Ah, oh, Homer, your face shines brightly. While I cannot offer physical group prayer, we can join in spirit. Let us both take a moment to reflect on our actions and silently ask forgiveness. For forgiveness, may our hearts find solace and compassion. That's amazing. Can we do it inside? It's kind of cold out here. It's a bit cold. The mosquitoes are biting me. I'd love to do it inside. Ah. ah. The universe smiles upon us. Come, my friend, step inside and find warmth within these humble walls. Is he? <laughs> it's dancing. Let us seek solace. Okay, cool. Easy. Easy, easy. Fuck, I would have loved to have, like, been a little bit sacrilege to this guy. No? Oh, shit. What is that shit hanging out of his head? Is he okay? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Looks like your bite won't give me a bad head, though. Because it came that way, no? All right. I'm going to go preach to, uh, to people. Let's see. Also, his house is, like, back to front. Is that normal? Holy shit. Oh, we're both doctors. Dr. Vicky. All right, is that a reference, guys? What in the world are you doing here at this ungodly hour, all dressed up like a lab monkey with that fancy thermometer? Why don't you reveal your true intentions before we go any further? Dr. Vicky, you might not recognize me. That's because I'm coming down from the city university. I'm a nurse in training. Oh, doctor, not nurse. What the fuck am I talking about? Hmm. Oh, a nurse in training, huh? Well, well. What brings you to my humble abode, nurse? Have you come for some lessons in dark arts? Oh, shit. I should have said I... I... I'm actually coming straight from university right now. I'm feeling unwell. There's something moving in my stomach. Hmm. Moving in your stomach, you say? Now that's a peculiar symptom. How intriguing. Have you tried consulting a real doctor? Are you hoping for a backyard experimental procedure? All of the doctor clinics are closed right now, and it would be a great peace of mind if you could get this alien out of my stomach. Please. Please! Alien in your stomach, huh? Oh, you must be mistaken, my dear nurse. I specialize in human medicine, not extraterrestrial invasions, but I suppose I can take a quick look at you. Step inside. That, thank you. That's cool. I appreciate that. What do you specialize in, though? In terms of humans, what do you specialize in? Whoa, they didn't get that. They didn't get that. Thank you. I appreciate it. How many years did you spend studying, Dr. Vicky? Ah, uh, the years of studying and experimenting. Who can count? Let's just say I've been honing my skills for a long, long time now. Step inside. Okay, whatever. She didn't answer. Didn't have an answer for that. <laughs> yeah, right? Using an alien reference? Alright. Alright, now I'm a female doctor. Let's fucking go. Wait, can I wear the mask as well? <gasps> I'm fully kitted out. This is badass. Alright, let's see. Um, Who was in here again? I don't remember. Whoa, who is this? Mm, it's like Tingle. Like Fragile that. Fred. What do you want, Dr. Vicky? I told you I don't have any secret experiments going on in my basement. Go find another innocent neighbor to harass. Whoa! Chill out, Fragile Fred. I'm done harassing you about that. I want to put that behind us. There has been a really, really bad case of... Ligma! 
<laughs> Ligma? I don't know what that is, but it sounds dreadful. Are you sure it's not contagious? It's super contagious, which is why I'm coming by to every house in the neighborhood to make sure everyone is doing well. The side effects of Ligma are terrible. It, it does sound like Hello, he has some experiments. Huh? Oh no, this sounds absolutely terrifying. I appreciate your concern for the neighborhood, but I'm not sure if it's safe for you to come inside. Let's talk through the door. That's completely fine. Fuck, I said fried instead of fine. Fred, fuck. How do I ask about his experiments? Do you reckon? I didn't want to say any real disease. What's up, love? That's okay, Fred. Fred, I do need you to be completely honest with me. This is a matter of... of, of health. Of course, Dr. Vicky. I was very honest here, especially when it comes to health. What do you need to know? I'll do my best to help from a safe distance. What is going on in your basement? What experiments are you running? You have to tell me. Completely related, by the way. Um. Well, I must say, Dr. Vicky, I appreciate your concern, but there's nothing going on in my basement. This is a storage area, I promise. As for experiments, well, the only thing I've been experimenting lately is new cooking recipes. Would I like one? Oh, I would. I don't do any cooking myself. But I'd love to see some of this food. Then some pizza. Oof, it's pizza. Um, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I can't invite you in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I, not feeling well. I need some alone time. Okay, what the? What did I say there? What is he? He's tweaking. Okay, I want to know more about him. I want to know more about him, so I kind of want to. Um, I think I do want to. What's it called? Get the fairy outfit. Surely he must have some lore going on. I think he actually did have Ligma, though, no? Oh, he said cookies? Frick, I mis- I misread that. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the future, Dr. Vicky. Elam Zuck. Oh, my. How can I assist you this fine evening? Rest assured, my algorithms are ready to tackle any suspicion you may have. Suspicion of what, Elam? What would I be suspicious of? Hmm. I apologize if I gave the wrong impression, Dr. Vicky. I meant to say the algorithms are here to address any concerns you have, whether it's regard. Oh. How can I leave you any suspicions to make you. Okay, so it's like the whole privacy thing. The whole privacy thing. Take back Twitter for us, Tesla Cybertruck. You and I are both experimenters. So I actually wanted to brainstorm new ideas with you. Have you thought about creating electric vehicles? Twitter. <laughs> ah, Dr. Vicky, you have an impeccable sense of timing. I've actually been tinkering with the idea of electric vehicles myself. They're definitely, in, they're definitely the way of the future, reducing our carbon footprint and revolutionizing transport. I'd love to bounce some ideas around with you. Why don't you come in and we can... Before we do, have you heard of Twitter? Do you remember Twitter? Ah, uh, Twitter, the social media platform that revolutionizes the way we communicate in bite-sized messages. Of course I do. But why do you ask, Dr. Vigo? You think you have a new project involving microblogging and social network? Let's just... I do not want to talk about Twitter at all. Let's just leave Twitter as it is, and let's talk about these new electric vehicles. Absolutely, Dr. Vicky. My apologies for any confusion. I'm thrilled to be talking... Thrilled to talk about electric vehicles and brainstorm some innovative ideas. Please come in and delve into this exciting... Okay, I just changed the future, guys. This is the 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 best timeline. This is the best timeline. <laughs> the best timeline. He's not going to change it now. Okay, anyway, I'm Elon. The sacred timeline. If I get caught by a cop, can I, like, convince them to let me go? No worries, guys. We're all going to see in a few moments. Twitter is going to be changing. Back to Twitter. Sorry, I forgot X. Okay, where, who else do I, uh, do I need to talk to? Oh, yeah, the science guy, true. Fund all his shit. 
I'm gonna be real, I forgot where he lives. Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. I think it's over here. Oh, oh my god. Could I pretend to be a killer? All right, hold on. Let's let's go to the science guy real quick. Or should I try to kill this person? Oh, wait. I can wear it. No, I couldn't just bust in as a killer, no. Oh, what do you want? Okay, they know exactly who I am. Can't you see? I'm in the middle of an existential crisis here. Raven, I'm here to help. What is your crisis? What's going on? Tell me. Fine, if you really want to know, just try figuring out the point of it all. You know, life, the universe, technology. Everything just feels so empty. Yeah, Yo, you should talk to a guy I know. I think his name is Fallout Roy. Do you know Fallout Roy? <laughs> nope, never heard of him. And honestly, I'm not really interested in talking to anyone right now. So if you could just like go away, that would be great. I'm dropping a bomb on her house. I thought I thought they'd be able to relate. My bad. Who's this? A green thumb? Is that actually that's so Raven? Hello, Yo, I'm Zuck. What's cracking, my dude? I'm so. Oh, it's the Bitcoin guy. Okay, I'm lost. Brian, I was uh, looking to compare portfolios with you, and I'd like to make major, major investments into Dogecoin. Dogecoin, bro? You got some serious ambition. I dig your style, but I gotta be real with you. Dogecoin is more of a meme coin, man. If you're looking for those major gains, Bitcoin is the OG, the king of crypto, the crypto world. It's like the Lamborghini of the crypto market, bro. So if you want to hop on the rocket ship to the moon, Bitcoin... Fuck it! I'm down! I have so much money to pump into Bitcoin, we're gonna be billionaires. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, my dude. Pumping a ton of money into Bitcoin doesn't really make you a billionaire, bro. It's important to do your research and make decisions. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad, my bad. No, 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 hold up. Oh, he could help me. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I, dude, this guy's nuts. How do I get into the crypto guy's house, guys? How do I? I haven't even gone into the... I'm naked. Oh, that's not good. Hey, man. What's the wave? I need gardening advice. Responsible crypto guy, right? Oh, dude, I'm totally your guy for gardening advice. What do you need help with? I don't know anything. I'm looking to start a... Uh, a marijuana farm. Whoa, whoa, man. That's some serious stuff to getting into. Growing marijuana requests, specific knowledge and regulations. I agree, but... I heard they have already passed a law to legalize it in the country we live in right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? That's news to me, man. Gotta stay informed, you know. But still, it's important to be careful. Make sure you're following all the rules and regulations. They actually completely abolished all regulations and rules. All laws are out the window in regards to marijuana. I need your help. <laughs> Hold on, man. That sounds pretty fishy to me. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, 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 don't, don't close the door, don't close the door. Wait! Mm 
And then the other hand. You want to smoke some pot? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, not cool. Just try to ask someone that. Don't know what you're talking about. I think it's supposed to be bounce. Peace out. Okay, my bad. I have checked. I've hacked into your crypto Bitcoin. If you don't let me in, your crypto will be gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is Raven. Shit, I'm going to the wrong one. <laughs> no offense, Elon. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, I didn't realize I didn't change. Completely misread that guy. Okay, hold on. All right, we're going to do some serious ones. I'm going to be serious. Sony Soprano? Dude. <laughs> Sony Soprano. What's the big deal knocking on my door at this on the hour? Speak your piece, Zuck, and make it quick before I lose my patience. I think we're going to have some big problems if you don't let me in, Sony. We need to talk. Big time. Now. Oh, how am I wrong? Look, Zuck, I don't take kind of threats. You ain't coming in here unless you got a good reason. Now scram before things get even uglier. Yeah, as ugly as you, motherfucker. All right, bet I, I I better scram then. Well, that didn't work. Um. Hmm. Can I walk around with a gun and go into someone else's house? How does that work? I, I need to go into like the, the kind of the breast dude's house, but. Oh, like what are you doing here, Karen? Do you not know what it's like past my bedtime? Spill the tea, what's so important that you had to interrupt my beauty sleep? I found this really cute guy, Regina, and I need girl advice. Wait, boy oh. advice. Wait, my bad. Karen, like I'm so flattered you think I'm the girl. Two girl for guy advice, but I'm sorry. Not sorry, just not a position to help you right now. What the? Bye, Felicia? Hello? Wait, what? Oh, you guys doing well today, Exa? Wait, what? Okay. That's kind of crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, greetings, unsuspecting neighbor. I've been looking to spend more money and not on clothes. I want to invest. No, no, no. What? I'm not talking stocks. I want to invest in research. I want to forward the world in silence. Uh, in science. I want science to get better. That was so poorly fucking said. Oh, how splendid. A noble oh, quest indeed. I must dare to dream and push the boundaries of scientific knowledge. What specific area of research do you care to delve into, dear Karen? That's what I came to you for. I trust your scientific prowess and knowledge, Pinky. I was hoping you could show me. Is he going to say like I... Sh oh, okay. Well, thank you for the kind words. You literally just suck up to everyone. I guess that, that is the game. Um, how about we start fascinating field of genetic engineering together? We shall unlock the secrets of life itself. That sounds incredible and expensive, Pinky. I'm more than happy to help you on your great cause. Come on. All right, the stars align, dear Karen. Your willingness to support my grand cause fills me with immeasurable joy. Come on in. Okay, I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. Out of all of them... Out of all of them? Who is vampire? Taste my intellect before you consume me. Locked out if Frio. Who are you versing today? Ooh. And who's is Frio gonna lose? Frio shit no. Alright, I'm now the scientist guy. Carlton? Oh shit. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, it's you, Piggy Brains. I'm terribly sorry. I can't possibly entertain your demented plan. Oh, shit. Already? Okay. 
Okay, he's like completely just... Um, wait, Preston. Before you close the door on me, I want to change. I want to follow the light of the Lord. <laughs> well, well, picky brains. It seems you are having a change of heart. However, I must say following the light of the Lord is still not quite up to my standards of importance. If you can convince me further, perhaps we can discuss it over a cup of tea. Oh shit! Do you reckon I could, I could, I could convert this guy? Am I Jehovah Witnessing right now? What do you believe in, Preston? What is the meaning of it all? Why do you do the things you do? Who's Preston Pomps? What is that in real life? Ah, uh, the eternal quest for meaning. You see, I believe in the pursuit of power, influence, and refinement. The meaning of it all lies in leaving an indelible mark on society and surrounding oneself with only the utmost important individuals. As for my actions, they are driven by desire to elevate myself and those around me to the highest echelons of society. The highest echelons of society. Have you considered running for president at all, Preston Pomps? Ah, uh, Piggy Brains, I must admit that running for president is a rather intriguing idea. However, one must carefully consider the impact it may have on their immaculate reputation and associations. Perhaps we can discuss this further over a fine bottle of champagne. That sounds incredible. What bottle do you have? I love champagne. Mm. Ah, Piggy Brains, I knew you had a refined taste. I do have a... <clears throat> Splendid bottle of Dom Perignon. Is that what you say? Vintage 2008. One of the finest champagnes the world has to offer. How much is that, guys? Google that. It would be an honor to share it with you. Someone of your grand aspirations. Are you ready for a truly exquisite experience? What else have you got in there aside from champagne? I'm interested. I'm down. What else have you got on offer? Well, Piggy Brands, I have an impressive collection of aged fine wines, exquisite caviar, and a selection of rare truffles from around the world. Additionally, I can arrange a private performance by a renowned pianist oh, and or curated art exhibition showcasing masterpieces from renowned artists. The possibilities are endless when one is surrounded by refined taste and extravagant resources. 344, but god damn. That's amazing. Do you have any vices? Mr. Pumps. Anything you do only behind closed doors. Please don't kick me out. Please don't kick me out. Please don't kick me out. Ooh. Ah, Piggy Brands, you have piqued my interest with your audacity. Behind closed doors, I indulge in the art of mixology concocting the most exquisite and elaborate cocktails that would make any connoisseur swoon with delight. Your curiosity has earned you the privilege of experiencing this firsthand. Please. Oh, my. Okay. He's boring, man. What the heck? I thought he would have. I thought he, he'd be doing like some illegal shit. Okay. Anyway, at least we're we're this guy now. Who is this dude? A bird watch? Ah, uh, present palms coming to witness the government experiments in my basement. The secret government experiments in my basement. Well, you're in for a treat, my friends. What experiments? B. L. Iver? Believer. Believer. Bor. Believer. Oh, my dear Preston, the experiments I'm conducting are beyond your wildest imagination. Think mind control, time travel, and lizard people. But I must warn you, once you see the truth, there is no going back. That is insane. I am so interested. How do you even start with time travel? How does that work? Ah, uh, the secrets of time travel are locked away in ancient texts and hidden government archives. It involves harnessing the power of cosmic energy. Oh, this guy's insane. This guy's insane, man. That's so cool. I would love to see some lizard people. They're everywhere, Preston. They disguise themselves as ordinary humans, blending in, but fear not. My friend, I have uncovered. I'll show you my... Ooh. Would you say we have any lizard people living in town? I feel like Elom... Wait, I forgot his name. Hold on. Elom... What was his name? Elom... What's it, Elon guy? 
Actually, true. What does he do with them? Elon, Elon Zuck. I've had my suspicions for a while that Elon Zuck may be a lizard person hidden by disguise. What have you seen through those binoculars? Preston, my dear neighbor, you've hit the nail on the head. I've captured some truly astonishing images of Elon Zuck shedding his human skin. It's a sight to behold, my friend. Why don't you step inside and I'll show you the might. Whoa. I should have... Jesus Christ, that cut is insane. <laughs> that cut is fucking insane, man. <laughs> Initiating mode, tin head conspiracy. Oh. Dude, I wish I wish I could have not eaten him there, but I had to. Like the last dialogue, it always like makes you go in. What? Greg Donjon. Don John. Who's this? Greg Greg Donjon. Greg Donjon. Donjon. Greg Donjon. Greg Greg Donjon. Ah, good evening, my neighbor Bo Lever. Please tell me what intriguing tales do you bring before mine ears this evening? Greg, I need you to be honest with me. Are you a lizard? Don Xin Zhao? I don't know. Dear Bo, I assure you I'm not a lizard, but I am a hum humble dungeon master, here to guide brave adventurers through the perilous quests. You play Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> Indeed I do. Dungeons and Dragons is a wonderful game that allows one to embark on epic adventures and immerse themselves in fantastical worlds. It's quite enjoyable. Fucking nerd. Talk about Baldur's Gate. And the bear real. Ah, yes. I have recently been playing Baldur's Gate on my computer. A game based on Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, how delightful. Baldur's Gate is a classic computer game that captures the spirit of Dungeons and Dragons. It's a grand adventure filled with magic and dangers. Have you been enjoying the adventures of my game? I have indeed. I have been excited to have sex with a bear. <laughs> that one didn't come out as naturally as I uh, as I anticipated. In game man, my bad. Thank you, Walls. Have a good night, Walls. Everyone say bye to Walls? Oh, shit. Frick. Fricky frack. I'm here to play Dungeons and Dragons with my best friend, Greg Dungeon. Huzzah! It warms my heart to see a fellow enthusiast ready to dwell into the realms of imagination and adventure. But first, I must confirm that you possess the mastery required to navigate the treacherous path of D&D. Have you ever ventured into the realm of rolling dice and slaying dragon? I have indeed. I have slain many dragons in-game. I have... Yep. I don't want to throw again. I'm a hammer. Excellent. Your dragon slaying prowess is most impressive. But before we embark on this grand quest together, I must inquire. Do you possess a sense of wonder and willingness to cooperate with the fellow adventurers? For in the world of D&D, teamwork is key to victory. I will do anything it takes. Nothing will stop me. My character class is that of a seducer. I will mate with anything.
<laughs> Greetings, Dungeon Master. I am here for the game of D&D. Fucking nerd. I am here to join you and embark on this campaign you have prepared for us. Dude, this is actually better. I, this makes me want to play Baldur's Hello. Gate. Huzzah, your enthusiasm for the grand tales of adventure warms my heart. Come in, set... Okay, we're already there. Okay, literally, that's all I... Like, I mean, that's all I had to say, but it's fine. All right. <laughs> we installed it last night. I do have to play it again, I feel. That game was so good. I'd love to get into D&D... In real life, a few of my friends used to play it a bunch. Now we just play it. We play Magic the Gathering, but... Shit, shit sounds like a vibe. Sounds like a commitment, though. Oh, who is this guy? Father the price, ah. What brings you to my humble abode to find a tie? Ah. I was looking to be converted from pastafarianism, father. I am done with that religious and I re religion, and I feel like you could guide me. Oh, that's it, fairy. Praise be, it warms my heart to hear you seek guidance on your spiritual journey. Fear not, my friend, for the light of the Lord shines upon you. Let us delve into the depths of your pastafarian woes. <laughs> Bet. Remind me, what religious order or faith do you follow? What, what is he? Uh -huh. Oh, blessed soul, I am a devout follower of the Church of Divine Enlightenment. We celebrate, we embrace, sorry, the teachings of love, compassion, and eternal quest for heavenly knowledge. Our order is driven by a fervent desire to spread the gospel far and wide. Brings up, okay, what do I ask this guy? What's something, what's something messed up I could ask Father Price? I mean, there's definitely one topic, but... Does it clap when you jump? The act of con- What is that? What is that, Walls? What is the act of contrition? Tell me. What is that? Does it jump when you clap, Father? Does it jump? Does it clap when you jump? Honestly, thank God I fucked that up. Thank God I fucked that up. Beautiful. Would you mind reciting the act of contrition? I feel like that would really get me in my spiritual mood. What a pious request, dear seeker of truth. With utmost reverence, let us recite the act of contrition together. O merciful and loving God, I am truly sorry for my sins. I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Through your infinite mercy, may I f find forgiveness and eternal salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May this prayer uplift your spirit and grant you solace on your path towards redemption. Hallelujah. I've never heard that in my life and I went to a Catholic school. Bat, okay, cool, I'm down. Baptize me. Please, thank you. See you inside. Oh, I didn't mean to say inside. I don't know if saying inside. Whenever I say inside. Glory be. It is a divine moment indeed. I shall prepare the sacred waters for your holy baptism. Come, my newly found soul. Step inside that I may wash away your sins and welcome you into the embrace of our loving God. Rejoice, for you are. I am getting baptized. Wait. I am an angel as well. I just realized. He's about to be an angel too. Oh, he remixed that? He said, This is the remix. Oh, uh, oh, Zana, hey, Zana, Zana, no, no, no. Who is this? Oh, Father Price, what are you doing here at this ungodly hour? Hey, don't be using God's name in vain like that, okay? There's nothing ungodly about this hour. I've come to offer you something. I have to think about what we're going to offer. Oh, save it, Father Price. I have no interest in whatever you're peddling. Now, unless you want me to call the authorities trespassing. God damn, all right. I'm out already. One trillion dollars. Literally, I was about to give it one trillion dollars. 
Da na 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 na. Who's in here? Hello, hello. Eve Breeze, what is this? Hey there, groovy neighbor. What brings you to my humble abode on this cosmic night? Peace and love, man. Why don't you have any clothes on? My fellow follower of God. Well, dude, you must be tripping. I believe in the power of being all natural, embracing the beauty and freedom of our bodies. But I can totally understand. Keep spreading the good vibes, man. Okay. I know what to do. What? Right on, my cosmic friend. Let the key. Let the. Let, let's keep the peace and love flowing. But I got a bet. Oh, That's all, man. Know. But I'm gonna tune out and groove in my birthday suit. Keep. Huh? Oh, here we go. I love that they just stay at the door. Crazy thunderstorm, right? We just had that just before. I don't think it's thundering that much right now. Hey, Cosmic Traveler. Groovy to see you at my door. Clad in only star shades and a ducky tube. What brings you to my far out abode? Peace and love, man. I'm looking for someone to spread the love with, man. And I think you're the guy. I think you're the person I need to spread love with. So let's get spreading. Hello? Touch dogs? What the heck? That cop is right behind me. All right, Cosmic Traveler, I dig your vibe, but I can keep my energetic flow in harmony. Whoa, this guy might be tough. Who else we got? Who's this? Oh, the... Oh, yeah. What entire nation do you think you're doing knocking on my door at this time called the... Uh, Rusty Outrage, you're a, a follower of God, aren't you? A God-loving American man. Anything slightly sexual? Maybe, right? Hey. Wait, what? Whoa. Okay. I mean, honestly, I'd be closing my door on this guy as well, but... A police bat? What is this? Fucking up here would be devastating. Not a real American patriot, right? Welcome to the channel, my friend. Mr. East. Oh my god, it's Mr. East. Whoa, what a surprise. Welcome to the channel, my friend. I hope you're ready for some epic adventures and crazy challenges together. Let's dive straight into it, shall we? English or Spanish? Ah, uh, great question. I primarily speak English on my channel, but I do love Spanish. I might throw in a few Spanish phrases here and there. But the main language is English. Don't worry, I'll make sure to keep things entertaining. What's your favorite word in Spanish? Thought I said whiz, maybe. I actually might I caramba! I have so many favorite words in Spanish. It's hard to pick just one, but if I had to choose, I'd say it's your favorite word in Spanish. Which or your favorite word in Spanish is aventura, which means adventure. It perfectly captures the spirit of my What's your favorite word in Chinese? Oh boy, I love exploring different languages. My favorite word in Chinese has to be Xin Yang? Is that how you say it? Which means belief or faith. It's such a powerful word that reminds me to stay true to myself and keep believing in my dreams. Now, do you have a favorite word in Chinese or any other language you'd like to share? Let's keep this linguistic adventure going. My favorite word in Chinese is Yuyong. 
What's your favorite word in Arabic? <laughs> That's awesome. Yu Yong is a great choice. As for my favorite word in Arabic, I would have to say it's salam, which means peace. It's a beautiful word that represents harmony and positivity, and it's always so important. So what about you? <laughs> Imagine you met Mr. Beast and you just kept asking him to say different words in, in languages. <laughs> I don't know any Arabic. What, um... Are all of your videos real? Great question. The majority of my videos are indeed real. Showcasing my real life adventures, challenges, and experiences. However, there may be some videos where I add a touch of creativity or storytelling to enhance the entertainment value. But I always make sure to be transparent with my audience and label any videos that involve fictional elements. So... So, those explosions in your video weren't real? <laughs> oh, I apologize for any confusion. Let me clarify. Sometimes I use special effects. Of it. This is kind of cool. That's actually real. What the heck? What else? When is your next major giveaway? What's your next major video? I'd love to be in a challenge. Oh, I'm thrilled to hear that you're interested in joining on a challenge. While I can't give away the exact details just yet, I can tell you that my next major challenge will be featuring epic adventures with lots of exciting chat. Okay. Do you have a gaming channel? If you do, do you have a gaming setup? This is how we get inside. Uh -huh. Absolutely, I do have a gaming channel where I share my passion for gaming and connect with fellow gamers. As for my gaming setup, it's got a game is it's got a game is dream come true. It is sorry. Oh, okay, hold on. You're gonna love what you see, so my friend. How about we continue this conversation inside? Okay, I'm killing Mr. Beast. <laughs> I feel like you just have to you just have to tell them exactly what you want and then, uh, what they want. Sorry, and then um then you're in. Now I do the giveaways, right? Holy moly! <laughs> Nick Cloys, Cloys. So like, okay. Uh, Mr. Ears, what brings you to my humble abode on this glorious winter's eve? I was looking to see if we could make every single child's Christmas the best Christmas ever this year. Will you help me, Nick? <laughs> well, I must admit that does sound quite tempting, but you see, I'll need to know a bit more about your plan before I can fully commit. Care to enlighten me? I was thinking we put a thousand kids together in a pit and they fight and the last one standing gets every present ever. Oh my dear Mr. that's not quite the spirit of Christmas I was hoping for. I'm afraid I cannot support such violent activity. I threw, man. I threw. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can make any other, uh... Tommy Twizzler. To need any more disappointment? What do you mean by disappointment? I am here to tell you You've just won our biggest giveaway ever. One trillion dollars. Wait, what? Are you serious? A trillion dollars? That's, that's incredible. But I can't believe it just like that, you know? Are you pulling my leg? Well, of course you'll be taxed quite a lot. And it'll probably end up being around five billion dollars. Wait, I'm not very good at maths. But yes, it's real. So let me get this straight. I want a trillion dollars, but after taxes? No, 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 no. No, I lied. I lied. It's honestly... It's about 700 trillion dollars. No, I lied again. Sorry. I don't know my numbers. I don't know my numbers. Oh, no, I'm a billion, billion. No, I got my numbers mixed up. I misspoke. Instead of one trillion after taxes, it's going to be about 700 million. It's actually oh, less. Oh my, 
I've had enough of your lies. Okay, what the fuck? That's literally like how, how taxes work. That's always oh, a lot. Less? Wait, what's a trillion, guys? Be honest. Whoops. Taxes are fucked up these days, guys. Cost of living's going up. My bad. 1,000 billion? Are you fucking serious? That's what a trillion is? How is America in that much debt? You guys are insane. So I'm talking about taxes? Yeah, I probably shouldn't, right? Regina. Like, Madison, you must have like a million, right? I've got so many more, Regina, and I heard you were going through a midlife crisis, so I'm here to let you know you have won one trillion dollars. What the fuck? Wasn't she? I should have given her one trillion. Wasn't she going through a midlife crisis? Oh, no. That was, that was, that was freaking... Oh, shit. My bad. That was Raven. Wait, are you fucking serious? Wait, wait, that's not good. That can't be good. Australia? Yeah, I'm pretty sure America has like a crazy, like a much crazier debt, no? Don't you guys like have, have a debt of like $17 trillion? Oh, the thunder's going crazy right now, guys. Bro, I'm 17 out of 31. Are you serious? Dude, we might have to come back. Much bigger. That is true. That is true. Holy moly. Michelle Maple. Hey there, Mr. East. What brings you knocking on my door at this hour, hey? Michelle Maple, I'm here to let you know you have won $100,000. Whoa, you're my attention now, Mr. East. $100,000, eh? That's a whole lot of maple syrup, but forgive me if I'm a bit skeptical. Can I show you some proof of this win? I would love to show you proof, Michelle. But I'm, I'm worried people will see the money outside here. And who knows what could happen. 35 trillion? Holy moly. Oh, I understand your concern, Mr. East. Safety first, eh? How about we step inside and you can show me the proof? Oh. Lovely. I'm a little bit worried about that axe you're holding. I'm a little bit concerned. Do you promise not to hurt me? I feel like if, I, if I'm like saying chop me up, that's when they like... <laughs> Just a tool of the trade. I promise I won't harm you on your head unless you try to steal my maple syrup. But don't worry, I trust you coming in. Bet. Thank you. Thanks. She, I think she, she said she was going to spend it on maple syrup. She said she was going to spend it on maple syrup, I think. Fuck, I should have done it. That's actually a really good point. <laughs> I'll ask the next person. Oh, you know what? You know who we ask? We're gonna ask the guy that was dressed as a fairy. A fairy. I'm sure he'd have like an interesting way of spending that money. Okay, be real though as well. Where are all the houses? Who's this again? Oh, this is the fairy. Okay, real. I'm a ha ha. Hey, Fragile Fred, I'm Mr. East. I don't know if you've heard of me, but I run a very big YouTube channel and I'm here to let you know you've won $100,000. Oh, how am I wrong? Well... Oh, Hazel Rosewell. Know. Well, if it isn't Mr. Late Night Subscriber himself, what brings you to my door at this ungodly hour? I'm hoping I'll magically make you go viral. Sorry to burst your bubble. Hazel, that's not what I've come for at all. 
I wanted to ask how your work has been going. What does she do for work? I will love it. Oh, you're actually I interested in my work. Well, let me tell you. It's been a real roller coaster. I've had nights where the crowd laughed so hard they cried and when they were just they just cried. Trust me, being a comedian is a wild ride. I was looking to see if you wanted to work together in making a movie. I could fund the process and you'd be the main star. Coffee does this right. How are you going? Hold up. You want me to be the main star in your movie? Well, color me shocked. I never thought I'd see the day where someone actually appreciates my talent. Tell you more. Before we proceed any further, I need you to tell me a joke. I would love to hear your best joke. Okay, is this going to be funny, guys, or bad? Oh, uh, hold on. Well. Wait, 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 wait. I wa wait, wait, wait. She's going to be a jerk. I once met a guy so full of himself, he thought he invented the moonwalk while eating a moon pie. K okay, what the fuck is that? No, I meant a joke. Could you please tell me a joke? Ow. Oh. Jark? You guys could hear Jark? Uh -huh. Okay. We've done this one before. Fallout Roy, I feel you, my man. The crushing weight of the world. And sadness is upon me. I... Don't really know, but that's fine. No, no. Yeah, man, it's like we're drowning in a sea of despair, suffocating under the weight of it, of life's injustices. But hey, at least we can suffer together, right? Hey, what's okay? What are some some song lyrics, guys? What's like a song lyric that I could hit him with that's like about being depressed? Like a riot. That's so true. I have major girl troubles right now. Shorty's like a melody in my head. Absolutely like that. Lincoln Park, MCR. Give me, give me, so, give me something else. Hold on. Ah. Love is like a never-ending nightmare. It's like being trapped in a never-ending loop of heartbreak and disappointment. Hey, at least we can bond over in our shared pain. Do you have any recent experiences you'd want to talk about? Only if you want to talk about it. I don't want to pressure you. But I feel like... Venting is healthy. Can you put my ball? Okay. What do you reckon has happened to you? Well, if you really insist, I guess I can share. Recently, I lost my pet rock. Pebbles! Oh my... Wait, pet rock? What the fuck? And it's just been devastating. It's like the universe is playing some sick joke on me. Taking away the one thing... Okay. What the fuck? That's kind of depressing, man. Pebbles? I'm so sorry for your loss, Fallout Roy. Do I tell him my goldfish drowned? I'm so sorry for your loss of your pet rock pebbles, Roy. I recently too lost my pet goldfish, who drowned tragically. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss, Fallout Roy. I recently too lost a pet, my goldfish, who drowned tragically. Fish can actually drown. No, the hell? Oh, okay. the Oh man, that's rough. Losing a pet is like losing a piece of your soul. It's like the world just keeps throwing tragedy after tragedy at us. But hey, at least we can share our collective grief. Also had a loss. She hit the floor. Next thing you know, she got... <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I should have said that. That would have been so good. Whatever I had. Oh, it's like a like an air blower for uh, camera gear. Roy, I feel like you and I get each other. Maybe we should talk a little bit more. And hold each other. Make each other feel better. Holding each other? That's not bad. Yeah, my oh, hold up, my friend. I appreciate the offer, but I think we should stick to talking for now. I'm not really in a position to handle physical contact, you know? Keep it chill, man. I actually fumbled. I fumbled. I fumbled. I fumbled. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine.
They try to win the award for the most naked person in the neighborhood. My bad, my bad. I, I've just been getting so bullied and it makes me so sad. So oh, I'm so self-conscious about what I wear. You. So I choose to wear this. Uh, Karasu, thank you for the follow. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get it, right? Okay, watch. I'm about to nail this. What's up, Aladrian? Hello. People can be cruel sometimes. Don't let their negativity bring you down. Express yourself however you want. Even if it means just rocking beach bum attire. Just be you, dude. Real man, you sound like you get a lot weighing on your mind. What's been going on with you? Whoa. Uh, life's been a real bummer lately. Everything feels so pointless and empty, you know? It's like I'm walking through a perpetual darkness with no sign of light. But at, le at least we can co commiserate together, right? Totally true, my brother. Totally true. Sometimes I just like to zone out, play some music, play a little bit of uh, My Chemical Romance, you know, a bit of Fallout Boy. Dude, you just mentioned two of my favorite bands. My Chemical Romance and Fall Out Boy are like the soundtrack to my emotional roller coaster. It's like they understand everything. What's your go-to song when you need a good cry? Dude, that's amazing. My go-to song when I need to cry is Boyfriend by Big Time Rush. What about you? Dude, I respect your choice. When I need a good cry... I blast Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. It just hits me the right way, you know? It's like a battle cry for all the misunderstood souls out there. That's badass, man. That's badass. I respect that. You're a cool dude. I'd love to get you to get to know you better. Thanks, nice, man. I appreciate the kind words. You seem pretty cool yourself. Come on in. Let's commiserate the I don't I don't want to kill this guy, man. Low key, they look like Wind Waker characters. <laughs> if Wind, Wind Waker characters had necks. It's adding to my emotional scars. All right. What's up, coin? Hello. Oh, what is that, dude? Oh. I just got stuck. How many tries? Okay, the first time, it was one. I got him in one try, so I was joking there. Uh, have a good night, Ems. We'll see you later. Thank you for hanging out. Everyone said, Ems, what entire nation are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour looking like a hooligan? I ain't ordered no box meal, so you better get stepping before I call the cops. Hang on, Charles A. Boomer. This is not no boxed meal. This is actually from your mother. She sent this and wanted to surprise you. Please, I hope his mother's not dead. Hello, Don't you go in line to me, Sonny. My mother's been... Fuck it. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, hello, my Rob. Wait. Do not jump to conclusions, Charles A. Boomer. I found someone trying to steal this from your front yard, so I brought back your golf clubs. Well, I suppose you've done me a favor then, but that doesn't mean you're off the hook. What's your name? And why are you walking around with no shirts or no pants? You see, Charles, I recently moved in nearby, and I heard the sounds of them stealing your equipment. So I jumped straight out of bed with no time to get changed. Well, I guess I owe you a thank you then. Come on in, but next time put some clothes on before saving the day. Okay, that was quick. I, I don't know what else I had to hit him with there. That was actually... I think... Dude, I think you can, like, fake... Holy crap, that cowlick. Or that split. What is that? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, I bugged the game! I bugged the game. I bugged the game. I'm a hero, I yeah. bugged the game, man. Can I like? I completely bugged the game. Wait, unless hold on, we might be fine when I come out of. Dude, it thinks I'm in there. Hold on.
Wait, wait. There we go, there we go. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. Okay, thank God. All right, cool. I'm a genius, don't worry, guys. I'm locked in now, though. What the fuck? Hold on. Pause, how are you doing? <gasps> I'm locked in, though. No way. Dude, I think I have to go to the main menu. Continue. Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Don't worry, guys. We're good, we're good. All right. All right, all right. What the? Did he just put the hat on? Wait, why? He just put the hat on. Is that normal? That's not normal, is it? Hello, Brian Bitcoin. Okay, so this is the hardest guy. This is this is actually the hardest guy. Um, Brian, I've been looking for some business advice. It's not some business advice, but some crypto advice. I, I really want to start investing in crypto. I'm sick of stocks, so help me. Oh, no, that was, yeah, that was bad. Anyway. Brian, I would like to get, I would like to learn from the master of crypto on how to invest and what to invest in. I know Bitcoin is great, but I need more details. What's my friend? Okay. I get it. That's amazing. But I think I need that little push. I need to physically see a portfolio. What? Okay, okay, hold on. Seeing your uh, okay. That would work for me. I kind of struggle with using computers. As a construction worker, I don't spend a lot of time on computers. This is me generalizing construction workers. Dude, how do I get to this guy? Amazing. I appreciate that. Where do we get started? A lot of emphasis on where. A lot of emphasis on where. That's a spirit. To get started, the first thing you need is a digital wallet to securely store your cryptocurrencies. Okay. There seems to be a lot to do. Would you mind... We'll go at your pace. Oh, I thought he said my place. Damn. All right, let's do this. This is a lot to, to note down and remember. Do you have a pen and paper I could borrow to write this down? Okay, we're set. We're ready. I what? Don't, don't say bye. Oh... I don't know how to get to this guy. Do I ask him about- Whoa, bro, like, okay, crypto- Crypto bros are, like, the hardest people- Jesus, they're, like, the hardest people to just, like, communicate with. I feel like they're not real people, right? Like, they're all bots. I- I have to be Elon. I actually think I- I full-on have to be Elon. Is this this stupid plant guy? <sighs> Oh, I actually am in need of some green, if you know what I mean. I feel you, my friend. Well, you're in luck because I happen to have a green thumb when it comes to plants. But before we continue, let me ask this. Are you cool, man? Like, can I trust you with my secret garden? You can trust me with more than just your secret garden. You can trust me with any bush you have. Appreciate it, dude. Just remember, we're gonna keep things on the down low, you know? We don't want any unwanted attention. So what exactly are you looking for? I'm looking something that will calm me down. I've been having trouble sleeping lately. 
I don't know anything about drugs, guys. I see. Well, you're in luck, my friend, because I have just the thing to help you chill out and get a good night's sleep. I've got some top of the notch indica straight. Jesus Christ. That sounds good. I feel like we shouldn't be having this conversation at your front door, right? Oh, you're absolutely right, my friend. Come on in. Let's take this conversation to a more chill private spot. You can leave your worries at the door and we can talk. Dude, this guy's so nice, man. Easy, easy. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, we're so cute. Okay, I think I bugged the game, by the way, by turning into a bat inside here. But I, I think I turned into a bat by, like, spamming. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try sell weed to this guy. Let's go, my crypto mate. Ready to buy the... Okay. Yo, Brian. You've had me thinking, man. You sound like a stressed out individual. Managing and watching the crypto market sounds very stressful. Oh, I feel you, bro. The crypto market can be a wild roller coaster, but that's the beauty of it. It's exhilarating. Keeps me... Okay, the key is to embrace the volatility and never let fear get in the way. So would you say you need a lot of focus when dealing with the crypto market? Absolutely, my dude. Focusing on the crypto market is the key to success. You got to analyze charts, read up on the latest news and stay updated on all the trends. But hey, it's not all seriousness. We also got to enjoy the excitement, embrace the community. It's like being in a never ending dance party. That's great, man. I was thinking maybe I could help you focus even more. Maybe I could help you focus and relax. Dude, that sounds amazing. I'm always down for some extra focus and relaxation. Let's join forces and take the crypto world by storm. Come on in. Okay. I didn't even have to say I was like, I think he knows, right? He knows I have a green thumb. That's, that's how we get in. I killed him fully dressed. Huddle onto your neck. <laughs> Formo, that's crazy. All right. Who is this again? Let's try. Let's actually try sell weed to someone. Oh, hold on. Raven, I think I could change your mind here. And in fact, I'm not selling anything. I come as a friend. Have you been stressed out lately? Do you feel like you need to relax? <laughs> like anyone could understand what I'm going through. And who says I need to relax? I'm perfectly fine with my angsty vibes. Thank you very much. I think everyone needs a way to vent. Or at least everyone needs a friend, you know? So I feel like... No, hold on. Let's restart that. Game isn't about... Oh, it's up, Flubel. Dude, how, how long could I make my text bubble? I wonder if I could, like, just spit so much nonsense. I think it's a shadow. It's a shadow. She doesn't have a beard. Um, who says I need to relax? Perfectly fine with your angsty vibes. Hey, I'm not saying I know what you're going through. But all I'm saying is I think my green thumb could help you. Let's see. Does she know the, the green thumb lingo? Ah, uh, whatever. Fine. You can try and help me, but don't expect miracles. My plants are probably just going to wither away like my hopes and dreams, but go ahead. Impress me, green thumb. I'm not talking about plants here. I'm talking about a way to relax. I'm talking about green. Green, huh? Are you talking about some kind of herbal remedy? Look, I've tried everything to relax and nothing works, but hey, I'm curious. What's this green thing you're going on about? I'm sure it's something you haven't tried before. But I don't think it's something we should talk about out here. Oh, she's going to be pissed. She's not going to like that, man. Ooh, ooh, whoa, hold up. Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? All right, fine. You got my attention. Come on in, but don't think I'm going to go easy. Damn, okay. I successfully just... I successfully just sold weed. That's kind of nuts. <laughs> She said, hand it over. I have no idea what she said. I wasn't reading. My bad. All right. Let's, uh, you know what? I think this guy's the cheat code. 
Is this guy not the cheat code right now? Can you have some? That, okay. Where's your house? Jeez. How has uh, business been? Sony? I hear bringing uh, a new way for you to make money. Don't the... Don't... Doesn't the mafia, like, not do deal drugs? But they kind of do, like, secretly. Business? It's always on the up and up, my friend. But what's this new way you're talking about? Fill me in, but make it quick. I'm talking about selling green. I'm talking about selling plant. I'm talking about selling... The devil's lettuce. You know what I mean? Ah, I see what you're getting at. You think you can just waltz in here and start peddling that stuff? Well, I gotta admit it's tempting, but I gotta make sure you can be trusted, you know? So what's your pitch kit? Can you prove you're worth my time? Should just been a weed dealer? Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Back at my house, everyone thinks I'm just a silly old gardener, but that's not the case. I actually have an underground facility with hundreds of plants. No, thousands, thousands. Well, call me impressed, kid. You're as good as you say you are. Might as well have a, a, a fruitful partnership. Take off that bucket out of yours and come on in. Let's see what you got. That's crazy. Should I? Okay, I'm not going to be a drug dealer anymore. Selling drugs? It's easy, but it's boring. We're going to be a mafia, a mafia man. A mafia boss. Who was there around here? 24 out of 30. Shit. Right there. Don't mean faded. <laughs> Welcome back, Exile. Do I have enough time here? Where'd my hat go? Did one of them take my hat? Did one of them take my hair? He did. Oh. Okay, I should be fine here. I don't think they move while I'm... Oh, my delicate disposition. What in... What is the meaning of this unexpected intrusion? I implore you kindly, remove yourself. Oh. Fragile Fred... I've had enough. You're in big trouble. Can I intimidate them? I apologize profusely if I have offended you in any way. Please let me rectify this grievous error by closing the door. Oh. Dude, he took my shit. Like, that's... Should I pretend to be a scientist again? Fred, cases of ligma have rose in this town to an all-time high. I'm going around testing everyone in the town for ligma. Hmm, I'm ligma? Uh, no, no, can I handle such news? It's far too fragile for this information. Holy crap. This fragile Fred motherfucker, I hate this guy. Oh my god, this dude's definitely a problem. What the heck? Fragile Fred. What do I do? Like, I... Dude, I... Am I going to go in there and say I watched My Little Pony or something? Why do I feel like that's what I have to do? Be kind to him? I don't really want to. That's too easy. I think you can, like, kind of be kind to everyone. And you just get into everyone's house that way. So I kind of want to... I want to find different ways, you know? What's going on in here? 
Oh, it's a synagogue. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Nick, are you some kind of firefighter? You look like a fireman. Yeah, I tried like forcing my way in just then, but I don't think you count. Wait, what the fuck? No, I'm not here to put out any fires. Just see your favorite neighbor, uh, your friendly neighborhood Santa spreading holiday cheer. What has been your favorite Christmas experience? Oh, his fridge is running away. He wouldn't care, man. My favorite Christmas memory is the one I'm making right now, meeting my idol, Nick Close. Stream is early tomorrow. Yes, JC, uh, yes. Well. Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing I've heard all day? You know what, my friend? I'd be delighted to invite you inside and make this Christmas memory even more special. Okay. Okay, I'm getting... Okay, that's crazy. Whoa! Oh. Hold on. Oh, don't bug. Please don't bug. Please don't bug. Please don't bug. All right, we're good. We're good. No, I think I think he actually was like... I think he's a predator. Uh, have a good night, Tara. We'll see you later. Who's this? Oh, yeah, I saw this guy. Look who it is. Look who, look, who, look who it is. If it ain't the Grinch pretending to be Mall Santa... What brings you to my humble abode at this un ungodly hour? Tommy, I want to know more about you. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> oh, you want to know about me, huh? Okay, this guy's like a narcissist. Well, I'm just a regular guy trying to make it in this crazy world. I used to have a girlfriend, but she decided she was too good for me and dumped me. Now I spend my days wallowing in self-pity and eating copious amounts of ice cream. But hey, life goes on, right? Would you like more ice cream, Tommy? More ice cream, you say? Well, that's mighty kind of you, Mall Santa. I could use a little extra comfort right now. Bring on the ice cream, my friend. I am more than just a Mall Santa. I can make ice cream, too. I'm a chef. Have you had a gun? Wait, you're a chef and you can make ice cream? Well, color me impressed. I had no idea the Grinch had such hidden talents. So what kind of ice cream can you whip up, Chef Santa? Any flavor you want. Quite literally any flavor at all. And it doesn't take long either. It takes 10 minutes. Whoa. Any flavor I want. That's amazing. Mm, let me think. How about a combination of cookie dough, peanut butter, and caramel, caramel swirl? Oh, and throw in extra chocolate chips too. Can you make that happen, Chef Santa? Sure thing! Uh -huh. You're a set of Chef Santa. I can't wait to see... I can't wait to taste that incre incredible ice cream creation. Come on in and let's get this ice cream party started. Thank you so much, Tommy. I didn't really want to. I didn't really want to interact with Tommy too much, to be honest. Uh -huh. No problem, Chef Santa. Thanks for bringing some joy into my life. Come on in and let's indulge in some delicious ice cream together. Yeah, I honestly, I'm gonna be real. I don't know if Tommy's a, uh, Tommy's anyone. I really want to have a. Uh, Chef Santa kind of nuts, right? All right, we're going to dress up as Tommy and, uh... Oh, wait, do I have Santa hair right now? I've still got the, the disguise on. Okay, this guy we're going to, like... I don't, I don't know, we have to be... A gun lover. What intonation do you want bothering me at this hour? I wanted some advice on how I could protect my home and family. Oh, no. Wait, what? Well, you know, just a clueless city slicker. Protecting your home and family ain't no easy task, I'll tell you that. But I reckon I can give you some good advice. First off, get yourself a good old shotgun. What is your favorite kind of firearm? Whoa. Well, oh, uh, the cop, okay. Well, do doggone it. Wait, what? Ain't nothing better than a good old shotgun. It's versatile, powerful. Ooh, makes, uh, makes, it makes it makes you feel like a real badass. Gives you the goosebumps. Have you ever had to use your shotgun on a person? Oh, okay, okay, my bad, my bad. Spitting tales about taking shots at folks. Using a firearm on firearm on another person is a serious matter. 
Okay, 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 okay. Sorry. I, yep, that's fair. That's fair. I shouldn't have asked him if he shot anyone. Okay, I'm just going to tell him I have a few beers on me. <laughs> well, ain't you a sight to behold? What brings you here looking like you just escaped from a nudist colony? Yo, I'm here to have some beers. I know you're the biggest beer drinker in the town, and I need someone to match me. They're all lamenting, right? I was going to say match my freak, but... Well, I reckon I do know my way around the cold one, but I ain't just going to drink with any old stranger. Y'all going to prove your worth first. How about I tell you a good joke? Um... A man walked into a bar and said, Ouch. Ah, well, gosh darn it, that's a good one. Oh, okay, okay, I'll give you that, but I gotta warn you, I only drink with folks who know their manners. Don't you dare forget to say please and thank you. No worries, can you tell me a joke? I should have asked them all for a joke. Well, and that a breath of fresh air, sure I can tell you a little joke. Why don't you sign, uh, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Okay. That was incredible. Absolutely fantastic. Superb. Great. I think we'll get on just fine. Oh, hot dang. Ain't you just, a fl ain't you just flattering the socks off me? I reckon we're going to have ourselves a memorable time. Grab your duffel bag and come on in, partner. The beer's waiting. That's crazy. We're going to get fucked up on beer. And this guy has just got a gun on his back. All right. I, I don't know where these last houses are. We got four more houses. Oh, this girl here. That's true, right? <laughs> well, 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 look who decided to grace us with the oh so fashionable presence. What's the occasion? Did the loser convention let <laughs> let out early today? Seriously, what's with the get up? Did you lose a bet? I did in fact lose a bet, Regina. Thank you for reminding me. How are you doing tonight? What did you get up to today? Oh, I need to go back to her, yeah. You, you lose a bet? How expected. As for me, my day was fabulous as always. I attended a glamorous charity event. You know, just my usual routine. But let's not bore ourselves with my fabulous life. How about you? Did you manage to do anything remotely interesting today? Or were you too busy losing bets? Wait, I think I was at the same event. The... The charity event for charity raising funds. <laughs> oh, really? You actually managed to sneak your way into a classy event like that? Color me impressed. But let's be real, charity events aren't really your scene, are they? So what was your excuse for being there? Did you accidentally stumble into the wrong party or something? I'm actually the owner of the charity event. I just am so charitable that I don't look like I have any money. I look poor. Oh, you're the owner of the charity event. How quaint. I guess it's nice of you to try and give back, even if you have to pretend to be poor to do so. But let's not forget, appearances can be deceiving. So tell me, what's your secret to fooling everyone into thinking you're broke? Do you just wear rags and dumpster dive for fun? Growing up, I was very poor. A very, very, very poor boy. And then I stumbled upon Dogecoin, and I made all my money through crypto. Yep. Oh, how heartwarming. A rags to riches story, huh? It must be quite the fairy tale for you, but let's not forget all that money can't buy class or taste. Now tell me, with all your newfound wealth, how do you plan on upgrading that wardrobe of yours? Or are you still going to keep dressing like a fashion disaster? I think as long as I'm making a difference in the world, it doesn't matter what I look like. I'm not here to appeal to others. I want to be myself. Is she going to hate that? I feel like she'll hate that, right? Oh, oh, wow. How noble of you. Making a difference and not caring about what others think. I have to admit that kind of confidence is somewhat admirable. Fine, you can come in. That's pretty funny. I, I mean, I didn't really... I wasn't even asking to come in yet. I'm going to wear Gucci and Prada and change my name to Gucci Prada. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, like this is so not how I wanted to die. All right. 
I could dress up as her. I feel like she's not as useful as uh, as everyone else. She's just like a very superficial. Girl, I definitely need to go to the nudist. The problem is, when I went to the nudist before, I've already revealed myself with no clothes. So I think the nudist will not appreciate me. If I want to change my ways, I feel like I've been such an uptight person my whole life. How do I become more free like you? Far out, sister. To become more free, you gotta let go of those negative vibes. Let your spirit soar and embrace your true self. Dance in the moonlight. Let the wind caress your skin and live all natural, baby. How do I live all natural? I would love to learn. Ah, to live all natural is to embrace the beauty of the earth and let go of material possessions. Start by spending more time in nature, feeling the grass beneath your feet and surrounding yourself with positive energy. And remember, clothing is optional, so feel free to let your skin breathe, baby. Be one with nature. Um, let's see. I love your duck floaty. Do you happen to have another one? Ah, the duck float is a symbol of freedom and joy in the water. Unfortunately, I only have one, but fear not, my friend. There are plenty of other groovy floaties out there to choose from. Embrace the spirit of fun and float away on the waves of life. I think I'm going to start living like you, but very gradually. I'm not quite going to get naked now, but I'd love to hang out more often. Uh -huh. That's totally cool, babe. Embracing a more free-spirited lifestyle is all about finding your own comfort level. I'd love to hang out with you more. We can take it slow and enjoy the journey together, man. That's amazing. Absolutely incredible. I can't wait to embark on this journey with you now. Right on. I'm stoked to have you on this groovy journey with me. Let's celebrate the beauty of life, embrace our authentic selves, and spread the love and positivity wherever we go. It's going to be... Okay, is, is, is this person supposed to be hard? Amazing. I'd love to invite you at my place so we could be free over there, but I have renovations, and I feel like the noise will be bad. I might have just cocked it. No worries, sister. I totally get it. Renovations can be a real buzz skill, but hey, we can keep the good vibes right here at my pad. Okay, thank God. Thank God. That one, um... That one seemed like it was going to be a lot harder. Okay, so let's kill the nudist. I think we have two more. That was a bit risky, right? I, I thought she was going to just say, nope. Okay. Do I have a map anywhere? This should just bug. Shit. Okay, on. Uh, the audio is just bugged for a second. Two more houses. Who are we missing, guys? I was hoping that getting caught by that cop there would have, uh... Oh, it's these two. Alright, let's gonna be nice to Fragile Fred. Okay, thank god. Holy moly. What's up, Tombstone? How are you? All right, let's see. Um, Fred, I just wanted to say I really appreciate your fresh fashion sense. I think you dress incredibly great. <laughs> incredibly great. 
fresh. Uh -huh. Oh, I must admit your kind words bring a glimmer of warmth to my fragile heart. Fashion appreciation is a noble virtue and I'm glad to be recognized for my unique style. Now, what brings you here? I wanted to learn more about your wings. Why is it that you wear wings? Ah, uh, my wings. They're a symbol of delicate freedom, a homage and hom uh, an homage, an homage to ethereal creatures of the sky. With each flutter, they remind me to embrace the beauty of flight, even when bound to the earth. Care to join me in soaring through the realms of imagination? I would love that. Me and this toilet plunger, you and those wings, we can imagine worlds anew. Absolutely splendid. Together we shall create wondrous tapestry, a wondrous tapestry of imaginative realms where the plunger and wing shall coexist in harmony. Please do come in. That's amazing. That's amazing. What the fuck? Dude, it's actually been really funny. It's like, it uses, we, we're actually just finishing. I'm going to upload this to the VOD channel, but um, you use AI. It's using AI to like talk to people. Um, And you're a vampire. You're a vampire with the goal of being invited into people's houses so you can you can kill them. I feel like I, I feel like editing this, but I'm just gonna leave the whole thing up on YouTube. I can't be fucked editing. Cause there have been some that have been like a little bit harder than others. Right now we've kind of run out of like shit to say, but you know. Um what brings you to my humble Hazel Rose Dwell. Okay, so this is the one. Hazel, I just wanna say I love your comedy act and I would just love to hear a joke from you right now. No, not main channel. Just to like make it shorter on the second, because it's actually it's a, it's a really funny vod, but there's like a lot of like um filler. Fragile Fred, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? Well, I'll give you one joke, just to keep you entertained. Why don't snowflakes ever indulge in stand-up comedy? Because they're afraid of getting roasted. But okay, what? What the heck? Okay, that was great. Do you have any other jokes? Oh, Fragile Fred, you're really pushing your luck, huh? All right, here's another one for you. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. But trust me, Fragile Fred, you've got... Okay. All right. I don't know if she is anti-work. Ha 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 It didn't work. That was great. Can I tell you a joke? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've managed to surprise me once again. I can't believe I'm saying this, but go ahead. Give me your best shot. Come on. Let's hear uh, that joke of yours. Oh, come on in. I was actually going to say like a terrible joke. Oh, we actually... Okay. <laughs> Hey vampire, I hope you're enjoying this skinny roast for dinner. Congratulations, vampire! You've tricked your way into every house and cleared the entire neighborhood. Don't forget to try that out. Uh, try out the other suck up game modes. Uh, create your own AI character in the character creator, or try out custom levels made by the community. What a crazy game! So these are the other modes here. Mic drop. I don't know what that is, but the Love Bites Classic. I mean, we can do that another time. Yeah, it was really cool. The The first person we spoke to, I mean, like at the very start, I was so bad. But then, I mean, I think there is a very easy way to cheat it. You just, um, I think you just, what's it called? Um, you just always get to like uh, appease to them, appeal to them and just like ask them about what they do. And then they'll eventually let you in. But then like one of the guys I was selling drugs to, um, and he let me in. There was another one where I, I convinced an old man that someone was trying to steal his, his golf club. It's actually pretty good. I don't know what the customs are. We can see next time. We can see next time. But that was really fun. Um, all right. That's going to be on the YouTube channel. That was super, super fun. We played that for three hours. We actually played that. Yeah, we played that for three hours. Holy crap. Play our other suck-up game modes and put your sucking skills